Oh, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing well. We about to get into our own signs reading. All right, this will be your current situation and advice. All right, so something new, something different, right? Um, but yeah, let's see. And these are general messages, meaning I'm picking up on multiple uh, situations, multiple energies. Everything may not resonate with you. Please take only what resonates with you and then leave the rest for somebody else out there that's watching. Um, I would say check out your Venus, definitely. All right. But check out your moon. Of course, your sun. So sun, moon, Venus, rising. All right. Sun, moon, Venus, rising. But definitely Venus for sure, okay? But this will be your current situation and advice. And I'm going in order from Aries to Pisces, okay? What's up, y'all? I hope you all are having a beautiful day. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Happy, happy Wednesday. All right, let's see. Your current situation and advice. We're going to start with Aries. Shout out to all the Aries out there. Happy Wednesday, Aries. What's going on with you, Aries? What's going on with my Aries? What's going on, Aries? Aries, what's up? Aries, what's going on with you, boo? Mm -hmm. You up first. Let's see your current situation, Aries. Let's bring you some messages for Aries regarding your current situation. Give me messages regarding Aries' current situation. Please and thank you. Two more shuffles for Aries in their current situation. ready to dip okay if you if you haven't already i feel like you are ready to dip okay let me clarify this Six, page of swords the hierophant and the king of wands y'all got a karmic from hell and i feel like you're doing your best to to uh block this person out to get away from this person you will you will be able to successfully do that it's it's taking a little time for some of you but you're going to be able to successfully do that but some of y'all got a i mean some of y'all got a karmic from hell i mean Whoever this karmic is, they're very bitter because of a separation. You could have left this person. Shit, maybe this person left y'all, but it's like they still upset with you. They're bitter. Oh, Lord. This person is going to extreme lengths to make sure that you don't commit to someone else. This person may have an idea of who may want to commit to you or who you actually want to commit to. And they're watching you. This person watching your every move. It's like you under heavy surveillance, Aries. Like, literally, you're being watched. Like, y'all are being watched. Page of swords here. Yeah. 
somebody here is definitely watching y'all this person could be a Pisces, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody here could have strong Pisces. As soon as I said that, Gemini fell out in the reverse. Some of y'all definitely connected to a Gemini or a Pisces. Or maybe this person got strong Gemini or Pisces in their chart. But this person is willing to fight. I feel like this person wants to fight with you. You could have blocked this person. Or you could be trying to um, limit the communication between you two. I really feel like you don't want to talk to this person. Yeah, because you're trying to heal. I feel like you're tired of this motherfucker. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo as well. But you tired of this person. Some of y'all could even have children with this person. Share home with this person. Or this is how it was before. And this person is just mad because you could have left the home. Or y'all could have separated. Somebody here could have moved out for some of y'all. But like I said, this is somebody that you could definitely have children with for some of you. I'm getting strong Gemini, Pisces, Leo energy here. Somebody here could have that in their chart. Um, I'm also getting Taurus energy here. It could be significant in some way. But this person here. Oh, you tired of this motherfucker. Yeah, you just, you see, you just want to be happy. <laughs> like, you just want to be happy. I feel like you feel like this person is affecting your energy. They're affecting your happiness. This, this person irritates the shit out of y'all. Okay, this is a codependent situation here with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, this person irritates the fuck out of you. And I, yeah, this is coming to an end. Spirit said it's going to come to an end soon. Don't you worry. The tower card here. Yeah, somebody hit irritate your fucking soul. Like, I strongly feel that. I see that here. Clarify the tower here. Yeah, God is going to call judgment in this situation. Things going to be over. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you could also be connected to a water sign, possibly. Somebody here could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They have that in their chart. Aries, you walking away. Eight of Cups. I feel like you walking away from every damn body. Yeah. Yeah. This person is, when I tell you this person watching your every move, because they feel like you're about to go towards someone that's like, that has an offer for you, or they feel like somebody has a offer yeah somebody else has an offer for you or you have an offer for somebody else king and queen of pentacles here both in the upright and this is why this person is giving you such a hard time or they're watching you so much you may be feeling trapped or stuck in some way yeah somebody here could even be looking at somebody like they got mental issues oh lord yeah you're gonna have an opportunity okay you're gonna be able to receive an offer or make an offer of some sort. Experience said, just be patient in this situation. Things are coming to a complete end with the tower here and the judgment. Yeah, Archangel Gabriel is going to help you. And Archangel Michael. Yeah, I'm here. Archangel Gabriel and Michael is going to help you. Because they know how fed up you are. Like, you're fed up. There's also a king of swords here on the outside that is very obsessive. So somebody here could be an Aquarius, a Capricorn here. That's trying to keep you stuck in some sort of karmic cycle here. I also feel like this person is somebody that you can't trust. All right. I feel like you realize that if you didn't already. I also feel like you're very disappointed because you're trying to manifest someone. Yeah, an empress. Or Aries, you are this empress and this is happening to somebody else that wants you. Oh, Lord. Let's see what your advice is. Let's see what the advice is. Spare, what advice do you have for Aries in this situation? What advice do you have for Aries in this situation? Please, thank you. Be patient is what I just heard. Be patient. Yeah, because with the tower here and the judgment card, things are coming to an end. Yeah, the judgment here again, as I said that. Things are coming to a complete end. Like you may have already put an end into something in your mind. Like mentally, emotionally, you have checked out. But it's still some other shit going on. I'm hearing that somebody here could have some sort of legalities or some sort of court dates as well, legal issues. But 
it's, it's coming to an end, like a complete end. What's the advice that you have for Aries in this situation, Spirit? Well, I feel like it's a lot going on that, that that's going on right under your nose that you still don't have complete information on. Okay? Yeah, I feel like somebody here is very vengeful as well. This Queen of Cups in the reverse. Whoever this is, they miss you. But they feel dismissed by you or they feel ignored or they feel like you just left them. Yeah, Queen of Cups in the reverse here. The Tower reverse, the Six of Cups and the, and the Five of Pentacles. This person is going to feel like you're happy elsewhere. Some of you could be traveling, relocating, buying a home. Yeah, you're healing. Somebody here could have strong Aquarius or even Leo in their chart, Aries. You could have Aquarius or Leo placements for some of you. But with the Ten of Cups, the Sun, and the, and the Star, I feel like you're moving forward. You're getting a new home or you're traveling or that's what you're trying to manifest right now. You're trying to heal. Um, also, I feel like some of y'all could be really wanting to um, have some sort of support by loved ones. But it's like you're very cautious about everybody during this time. Spirit is telling you to focus on your healing, to focus on yourself. Somebody here could be trying to tell you that they're pregnant as well. Well, somebody, Aries, if you're the woman in this situation, somebody wants to be pregnant by you. Okay, it's 2024. You can't keep somebody with a baby, but I'm, a, you know, people still, I guess people still think that way. Karmics still think that way. Something significant about Cancer, Aquarius, and Leo energy here. But somebody here could be trying to trap somebody with a baby. Somebody here really planned out a future with you, tried to plan out a life with you. But this is somebody that is not in their natural energy. And I feel like it's wearing off and you see this person for who they truly are. This person could have been trying to get you pregnant if you're the woman. And if you're the man, then this woman's trying to get pregnant by you. You realize that this is not a solid situation. Like, this is not a solid foundation. Like, there could be um, money issues as well. Aries, you may be concerned about finances in this situation. Maybe this person's finances, your finances. You don't really feel like this is something stable. What's your advice in this situation? To boss the fuck up and focus on yourself and to be mindful of your spending, to save, and to leave this person. Yeah, because y'all want to leave. I told you, be patient in the situation, temperance, because I feel like you're very agitated, okay? Somebody here could also be trying to run away from, from the law, again, with those legal issues that I picked up on. Somebody here could have stole something, could be trying to run away from the law. King of Pentacles in the reverse here. Somebody here want to secretly back backtrack. Secretly backtrack to what? Some of y'all could be dealing with a Taurus. Somebody here could be trying to travel far away. Somebody here trying to run away from their problems, Aries. Spirit saying that you can't run away from your problems if this is you. Because the truth is catching up to somebody here. Aries, I also feel like if you was dealing with somebody that was abusive, especially to my ladies, my Aries ladies, this person is trying to run away from the law. They could have did something. Um, they could have been very harmful. And this person is trying to run away from the law. Trust that they're not getting far. Okay. Either they did something that was harmful to you. Or they was planning to or something like that. But this person got legal issues here. This emperor in the reverse. And they could be trying to run away from the Lord. But spirits said they're not going to get far. And just for you to be patient in this situation. Everything is coming together. Again with that judgment card. You are protected in the situation. Some of y'all could be seeing 444 four, four a lot. But trust that you are protected in the situation. And you got archangels that's actually on this case as well. All right. I just heard Metatron, so we had got Gabriel and Michael earlier, but I also just heard Metatron. But be patient in the situation, Aries. God is actually working in your favor. It's a lot going on behind the scenes, 
that you unaware of, but things are going to be made very clear to you. You, you're going to be receiving a lot of downloads or, or a lot of clarity, a lot of information, a lot of answers in the, in the upcoming seven days. So from the point that you see this message to the next seven days, you're going to be getting a lot of clarity regarding something that you're not too sure about. All right. Taurus, your current situation. Spirit, give me some messages for Taurus and their current situation. Please and thank you. Allow me to see things clearly. What's going on with Taurus and their current situation? Let me get three more shuffles for my Taurus and their current situation. Oh my gosh, y'all. Y'all know I've been raving about these candles for years now. For about five years, I've been raving about these candles. They from Harlem Candle Company. When I tell you the throw on those candles are insane. I got that candle lit in my bathroom right now. And the throw is just out of this world. Let me go put that candle out right now. Because it's it's like enough. Like, it's just lingering. And I don't... Yeah, let me, let me just put that candle out real quick. <laughs> The throw on those candles are amazing, you guys. Like, that is, like, top-notch, chef's kiss, high quality, definitely worth every penny. If you are somebody that love candles, you got to check out Harlem Candle Company. No, I don't personally know anybody from there. They're not sponsoring me. Y'all know I've been raving about these damn candles for years. <laughs> snuff that candle out because I'm telling you like that candle you can't even smell this one up here that candle y'all them Harlem candle company uh candles the throw look at all this wax hanging hanging from my snuff my snuffer <laughs> but um I swear I'll be having wax on everything but I'm telling you like the throw on those candles, baby. <laughs> that shit is too powerful. I love it. Those candles worth every penny. All right, Taurus, your current situation. I'm sorry, bro. Your current situation, Taurus. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. Somebody here could have shown Gemini or Virgo in, the, in their chart. You could also be dealing with a uh, Sagittarius or a Pisces. You could have that in your chart. Um, Taurus, I feel like you care about somebody deeply, okay? I feel like you really care about somebody deeply here. You have a solid offer for them. I feel like you willing and, and you, you ready and willing to make a situation work. I feel like you ready to do anything in your power to make sure that something here works out in your favor. But I just feel like you could be connected to somebody that is not on the same page as you right now. Taurus, here you are, baby. You're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles, someone that's very stable, confident, nurturing, loving. You're about your business, okay? You take good care of the home. If you have children, you take good care of your children. I feel like you're somebody that's very responsible, very reliable. Taurus, you of a high vibration. I'm speaking to a high vibrational Taurus that's about their fucking business. Okay, you may have multiple businesses. Some of you could even be entrepreneurs, but you you get it by any means necessary. You're very stable, very confident, very um reliable, responsible, protective. You just you 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 the shit. Okay, whoever I'm talking to, yeah, Taurus, you the shit. But I feel like some of y'all dealing with somebody that's kind of lacking. Okay, like they could be lacking in, in certain areas. Like maybe you feel like you do a lot like you do more than this person or somebody here feel that way like somebody here may be feeling like you know like damn like i'm doing a lot like you're not really doing too much like you can you meet me halfway i just heard that song i haven't heard that song in a minute black eyed peas meet me halfway i just heard fergie when she say 
can you meet me halfway? So you want somebody to meet you halfway? But look, Taurus, you showing up as the Queen of Pentacles and this person showing up as the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Or vice versa, Taurus, for the cross watches. You could be in this Queen of Pentacles and you could be viewing Taurus as the King of Pentacles in the reverse. But somebody here could be viewing the masculine or whoever's taking on the more masculine energy in this situation. Because, you know, we all have feminine and masculine energies, man or woman. But somebody is looking at the more masculine energy like they're not really contributing that much. Some of y'all could be dealing with another Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn. Some of y'all dealing with fellow Earth signs. Others of you could be dealing with a Gemini, a Pisces, a Sagittarius, okay? A Scorpio, a Cancer. You could be dealing with a fellow Earth sign, a Water sign, a Gemini, or a Sag. Those um, signs could be very significant to the to placements in your chart as well. But yeah, somebody here definitely feel like, you know, like, can you meet me halfway the fuck? Like, I would cut me some fucking slack, okay? Because somebody here feel like they got a lot on their plate and they want to, like, relieve some of those responsibilities. But it's like the only way that I could relieve some of those responsibilities is if you cut me some slack, if you step up to the plate and meet me half and meet me halfway. Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. I also feel like there could be a third party in this situation for some of y'all. Okay, like somebody here definitely feel like, you know, there's a there's a lack of attention here or appreciation. Taurus, some of you don't feel appreciated in this situation. And uh, somebody here could be looking for appreciation elsewhere. I'm just saying. I, I do feel like there's a third party here. And I feel like somebody here is looking for reasons to, you know, say that it's okay to have a third party. You know? Mm -hmm. And with the two of cups in the reverse, it's like there's no equal give and take. Taurus, I told you, you of a high vibration, baby. You showing up as the empress, you know, come on now. I, I know, I know what type of person I was talking to. You are the divine feminine, Taurus. You are the goddess here. You the shit, baby. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Don't allow somebody here to make you feel like something wrong with you. I feel like I need to say that as well. But I do feel like you're very confident and secure within yourself. But for some reason, I feel like maybe the person that you connected to is making excuses for their lack of effort or you know it's like somebody here trying to use reverse psychology on you somebody here could even be trying to say that you not meeting them halfway when really is them but they just pointing it out to you so that you won't bring the attention to them like you won't bring attention to what they're not doing so they're trying to say that you're not doing something this person is playing mind games okay like whoever y'all dealing with master fucking manipulator I'm surprised the magician didn't come out in the reverse. This is a master manipulator. I also feel like some of y'all are dealing with somebody that you feel like could have did everything in their power to get you. And now that they got you, it's like, mm, whatever. I'm just, you know, now I'm a slack. Like, this is somebody that could have been like Prince Charming or, you know, just somebody here that was pulling out all the stops. You're like, oh, my God. And it's like, now that shit done worn off because now that they got you, it's like, I ain't really got to do all of that. Like, somebody here is not going to consistently uh, keep up what they had you um, accustomed to. You know, it's, it's just like if somebody here take you out a lot. And, or they just really whine and dine you or, you know, it's just the intimacy, the communication, like they talk to you a lot or, you know, they're very consistent with their communication. They're very consistent with their words of um, reassurance and affirmation. And, you know, like they just was pulling out all the stops to get you. And now that they got you, it's like, yo, they completely slacking. It's like, what the fuck? Like. I know you got me, but damn, like, can you keep it up a little bit? Like, what the fuck? Like, somebody here is dealing with something like that as well. There's some secrets here in this situation. And for some of you, the secrets is that there's another motherfucker in here. Three's a crowd. And I feel like somebody here is making excuses for that. Like, they feel like it's okay to have a third party. And, and they're trying to justify that by the fact that you, they trying to say you not doing enough. Or Taurus, this is your ass. I feel like intuitively you feel like this cycle is closing out. You don't want it to, though. I feel like some of you don't want this, this cycle to close out. That's why I said you're more than willing to do what it is that you need to do in order to fix this. Like, y'all, some of y'all are even open to, like, marriage counseling or, you know, 
uh, you know, couples therapy if you guys are not married. But it's like you're open to doing whatever it is, you know, to make this work. Like, it, nothing wrong with you, Taurus. I just want you to know that. Like, I really feel like nothing wrong with you, Empress. Nobody perfect, but you damn near showing up as someone that's perfect, okay? Like, anybody would be happy to be with somebody like you. Like, you bring a lot to the fucking table. And I feel like this motherfucker just playing mind games with you because they're the ones that's slacking or they're the ones that's about to slack. If this person is actually not slacking right now, they plan on slacking because they could be planning on entertaining a third party. So it's like somebody here trying to ruffle your feathers or start an argument with you beforehand or tell you what you're not doing beforehand so that when they go out and do them or when they start slacking, it's not coming as a surprise because they've already brought it to their attention that they're not fulfilled. This person is a master fucking manipulator. They play a lot of mind games, Taurus. And I feel like you intuitive, so you picking up on this shit. Like, this person's not slick. You know exactly what they're doing. Some of you are going to trust your intuition in this situation and close the cycle out. So I feel like, I'm going to pull your advice, but I feel like this is a part of your advice to trust your intuition. And some of you, you're going to trust your intuition and your intuition is going to lead you to close out this cycle with the world card. Um, but let's see what, what is your, um, advice in the situation. Oh yeah. Somebody here trying to, you, oh, they trying to play with your head. This is somebody that played mind games. Hell fucking yeah. Somebody here could have strong water in their chart, but I'm telling you, somebody here play a lot of mind games. It's like, and somebody here could be dealing with a Virgo or somebody here could have Virgo in their chart, but I'm telling you, it's like. You know how people will start an argument with you so that they can, you know, go out and take a break or get some fresh air or something. But when they get when they go get some fresh air, they go into the next bitch house. It's like one of those things. Like somebody here wants to bring something to your attention that ain't really happening. If anything, they're the ones that's just about to do it. So it's like, Torres, you're not doing this. You're not doing that. You know, I'm not satisfied or this, this, and that. And it's like, what? Like, nigga, I'm doing everything. If anything, I was about to bring it to your attention, what you're not doing, you know? But it's like, they going to beat you to it. Like, this person wants to beat you to it. Like, before you could really say something to them, they going to make it seem like it's you that's not doing something. And they only doing that so that they can go off and do what they want. And it's not going to come as a shock to you that they're distant or there's some space between you two now because they've already brought it to your attention that they have some sort of issue with you. But they don't really have an issue with you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's a fuck. It's a mind fuck. It's a mind game. Oh, hell no, Taurus. I don't like that person. I don't like shit like that. I mean, who does? Yeah, this person, master fucking manipulator of mind. They, they play a lot of mind games. Some of y'all could be dealing with a cancer. Yeah, this person. And it's like, they don't want you to go nowhere, you know? But they just, they play mind games. Yeah, it's a Cancer, a Leo. Somebody here could be on even on a cusp for some of y'all. They could uh, be on a cusp of Cancer Leo. Or they could be a Leo with strong Cancer placements or Cancer with strong Leo for some of y'all. Yeah, this person plays too fucking much. What's the advice for you? This is the type, you see, this is why I just be chilling. Because this is the type of person, you know, you might go upside their head or you may want to. And that's never the answer. But I'm just saying. Um, what's the uh that's not the answer y'all we we uh we healing on this and that's not the answer but i'm just saying <laughs> you know might gotta bust this person one time for the one time remind them of who they fucking with <laughs> nah i'm just fucking with y'all so it was you too stable for that shit you too grounded you too secure within yourself for that shit i'm just poking fun but let's see what your advice is. Your advice is to trust your intuition like we got earlier with the high priestess. I feel like you're somebody that's extremely intuitive. Um, and also your um, advice that I'm feeling is that, yeah, this cycle may close out. You may actually make a decision to close out this cycle. Somebody here definitely dealing with a Gemini or somebody got strong Gemini in their chart. But with the lovers in the reverse in the world, 
some of y'all definitely going to make a decision to close the cycle out. Spirit is saying, trust your intuition. Stand firm in your decision too. Like, don't go back and forth with this person because they're going to lose a lot of respect for you. And that's when the mind games are, are going to be intensified and amplified, if you will. So if you are making a decision to cut this person off or, you know, close out a cycle with them, stand firm in that. Don't backpedal and then take them back or change your mind because it's like they're going to lose respect for you. Like this person is, you know, they just playing games here. Yeah, there go that Virgo energy again. Also getting Capricorn here. Told you some of you could be dealing with fellow Earth signs. I feel like you, you could be feeling alone and worried. It's like now this person got you in your head. You could be nervous about where this is going or what's the future between you two, what the future holds. Taurus, don't let this person have control over your mind like this. I feel like with the hermit and the nine of swords, you could be worried like, oh my God, did I do something wrong? Or I hope that everything is okay. Or I, I hope that they're not going to go anywhere. Or th this motherfucker here. Taurus, let me strangle this motherfucker for you. <laughs> Let me strangle them real quick. You know what I'm saying? Let me holler at them real quick. You a fucking empress. Okay? It keeps coming out here that you're an empress. Like, you are the prize here, Taurus. Okay? Let me just remind you that you're the motherfucking prize in this situation. Okay? Okay? You're... Calm, calm for fucking... God... Damn it. God doggone it. Yo, I'm telling you, Taurus, you're the fucking prize in this situation. Anybody would be happy to be in love with you. I feel like you got somebody from your past that's actually in love with you. This person could be a water sign for some of you. They could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but there's somebody that got strong feelings for you. Okay? And this person could be waiting for you to close out a cycle with whoever I just talked about. All right. But I feel like there's a faded event that's taking place and you're connecting with somebody that's really about it. And I feel like there could be a Gemini, a Capricorn, a Virgo, somebody with that in their chart that's pissed the fuck off because this person could have been trying to plan a future for you. But there's going to be somebody that take a leap of faith towards you. OK, I feel like there's some quick communication coming in from a Cancer Scorpio Pisces or a fellow Earth sign that's going to that's totally in love with you. And you're actually going to build with that person. Um, spirit is saying to take your time when it comes to making um, solid decisions in love. But choose happiness, okay? Choose what makes you happy. Somebody here said you definitely make them happy. I'm hearing you make me happy. Okay, Empress, somebody said you make them happy. Somebody here want to get you pregnant as well for some of you, all right? But I do feel like y'all could be walking away from this person. So whoever this uh, water sign or earth sign is that's trying to come in and make you an offer, you may not be fit, having the same feelings towards this person. You could be walking away from this person. Yes, y'all walking away from this person. Eight of cups to the uh, four of wands in the reverse. Some of y'all feel like this person hasn't changed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This person ain't for you. They showing up as the emperor in the reverse. So, Taurus, you showing up as the empress in the reverse. And this person showing up as the emperor reverse. But this emperor in the reverse is very much so in love with you. But they're going to be very depressed and sad because you're walking away. And you're walking away for good. And you're choosing to heal. I feel like, Taurus, some of y'all closing out a cycle with every damn body. But, um... You know, your advice is to continue to heal and to trust your intuition um, and to make decisions and stand firm on the decisions that you're making. Don't make these decisions and then backpedal because somebody here is going to lose a lot of respect for you. And that's when the games are going to be played even more, especially for that first person that we just talked about. Oh, yeah. If you make a decision to close out a cycle with that person and then you come back around that you think this person playing games now or they're going to play even more games because I see here like somebody going to lose respect. But Empress, just trust your intuition in this situation. A lot of y'all are making a solid choice here with the world card and the lovers reverse to clip something. And I feel like you're going I feel like you are going to stand firm on it. You are. 
Everything in your life right now is divinely orchestrated, though. Like, whatever's not working out, it's not supposed to, okay? Don't think that anything is wrong with you, Empress. Spirit is trying to align you with things that are for you. So whatever's falling apart or whatever you feel like you have to release or walk away from, trust that you're walking away from it because you're serving yourself. You trust in your intuition, you honoring your feelings. The Eight of Cups speaks of someone as walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve them for their highest good. So you walking away is, is valid, okay? It's valid. So honor your feelings. And like I said, stand firm in your decision to walk away because I feel like many of you are walking away. But trust that everything is working out in your favor, Empress, because it is. With the Will of Fortune, I feel like everything is divinely orchestrated for you. Whatever's not working out for you, it's not supposed to. Okay, it's it's not supposed to. You have a Virgo that's losing a mind over you or somebody here is just putting you up in your head. Like somebody here, they deliberately want you to be up in your head. Like they're purposely trying to get you to be up in your head. Like this person wants you to be in the bed overthinking about them and y'all connection and the situation between you two like somebody here actively is doing this like again with the mind games like somebody here somebody here could be very passive aggressive like whoever this is i just you don't deserve this empress you don't deserve these mind games you don't deserve none of this shit like this that's some bullshit okay that's some bullshit all right let's move on to my gemini's Let's see, your current situation, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, Gemini. Spirit, give me some messages regarding Gemini's current situation, please, and thank you. Give me some messages regarding Gemini's current situation. Spirit, give me three more shuffles for Gemini's current situation. What messages do you have for Gemini and their current situation? Please and thank you. Gemini, your current situation. All right, honey bun. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Oh, goodness. Okay, so that was extreme. Like, I feel like Ten of Pentacles, it, the, the Ten of Swords right after it is like, oh, <laughs> let's see what's going on. I'm going to have to clarify everything, of course. Uh, we also have the High Priestess in the reverse here. The Hangman in the reverse. Some of y'all could be connected to a Pisces, a Sagittarius, a Virgo. Okay, um, what the hell is going on here? Five of Pentacles in the reverse and the Justice reverse. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra as well. I'm getting Sagittarius, Pisces, Virgo, and Libra energy very strong here. All right, somebody here could be trying to sue y'all or you suing somebody. Somebody here may have some sort of legal issues or court dates coming up. That's for some of y'all out there, but let's see what's going on. Gemini, your current situation. Spirit, clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Gemini and their current situation. Okay, Gemini, you showing up as the Queen of Swords. So very intelligent, standing your ground, about your business, having all your motherfucking receipts is what I'm hearing. So if somebody think they about to play with you, they need to understand who they're going up against because you showing up as somebody that's a motherfucking mastermind, okay? But we also have the sun in the reverse here. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo, or you could have Leo in your chart. Somebody in this situation is very unhappy with the sun reverse and the ten of swords. Uh, Gemini, you showing up as the nine of pentacles. So you someone that's very independent. Some of y'all may have somebody wanting to come back around with this five of pentacles in the reverse, but they getting rejected. Yeah, because they are king of wands in the reverse. They play too fucking much. This person could be an Aries, Leo, a Sagittarius, a Pisces, a Virgo, a Libra. But whoever this is, they're a player. They play too fucking much. They could be a womanizer is what I'm hearing. Somebody here has a wandering eye. They have a lustful spirit. They a player. And I just feel like you know the truth about this. You know the truth about this person and you over it. Judgment is being called in this situation. This person could be wanting to come back towards you because they feel like it's safe or there's a lot of finances or security here with you. Like somebody here wants to come back around towards you because it's safe and, and, and they know that you financially secure. But I feel like you standing up to this person. 
okay? Something about you standing up to this person, standing up for yourself, taking your power back. And I feel like this person is in regret and they're very disappointed. This is somebody that wished that they would have treated you better or this is somebody that wished they would have fought for you or did right by you or, you know, they wasn't cheating on you. Like, this is somebody here that's in a, in a lot of regret for how they treated you. But this is somebody that feel like they could fucking come in and out of your life. Like, I really feel like this is why you standing up to this person because you letting them know motherfucker even if that's how it was in the past god damn it it's not that way now okay like it's not that way now okay yesterday's price is not today's price it's a new motherfucking day i don't give a fuck what i was doing last week this week i've healed and i'm not doing it okay like i really feel like you switching it up on a motherfucker and they're confused about this like this person feels like they can come in and out of your life like this is somebody that feels like they can have some sort of revolving door with you this person may have a third party outside of the connection that you two share or shared because i feel like you put an end to this shit a uh, once and for all you're done you're done fucking with the back and forth you're not with the back and forth you either in my life or you're not you're either doing right by me or you're not in my life at all like you're no longer settling okay you're no longer accepting less than what you deserve and this person is actually stunned by that they're actually shocked by that because you gonna take whatever the fuck i give you like that's somebody's attitude i don't know who this person is and what type of uh fucking um high horse that they're sitting on but this person is delusional because you're not doing it. You're just not doing it. I feel like you have a real emperor here that's coming in. All right. So some of y'all got a real one that's coming in. Clarify this emperor. Or you could even be in a new connection for some of y'all. Yeah. Emperor and the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups. I feel like you're going to be falling in love with a real motherfucker here. Okay. Like, I, you know, not to call your emperor a motherfucker, but y'all know that's just how I be talking sometimes. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to fall in love with a, a real divine counterpart, a divine masculine and, and emperor. And if this is not what you currently got going on, this is what's about to come towards you. But this person is going to find this out and they're going to be mad. I feel like now somebody's in heavy regret and they're mad because they're finding out that you actually healing and you actually got real love in your life or you open to real love in your life and that shit is actually coming in if it hasn't already and this person is going to be wanting to come towards you and apologize it's like now this person is crying over spilled milk they showed they asked because they was very comfortable with doing that they was very comfortable with being in and out or having third parties and gemini with the lovers in the reverse you're not feeling it you made a solid decision to let this shit go to stand up for yourself to not not accept anything that isn't you know what you truly desire you're not settling okay heavy emphasis on it you not settling you want somebody that's all about you i feel like you want somebody that's um that's uh very committed very focused very dedicated to you and only you okay it's something significant here about somebody here loving multiple parties or loving third parties and you just you sick of this shit yeah, this person want to fight for you. They want to give to you. And I feel like you walking the fuck away. Exactly. Eight of Cups. Gemini, this shit done came out so damn clear that you not fucking playing with somebody. And they're very confused because this person is, it's like they were, um, they were accustomed to this back and forth with you. You got a third party. They got a third party. Y'all both don't trust each other or y'all accusing each other of things. And it's like, okay, one minute I'm here. The next minute I'm not here. One minute we on good terms. The next minute we not on good terms. And then it's like, no, I'm done. Like you just, you just completely shut down and cut the shit off once and for all. And I feel like this person is now in heavy regret. And it's like, they, they want to come towards you like, oh no, Gemini, you don't understand. Like I need you. Like baby, don't give up on us. Like this person is coming towards you in this 10 of swords energy. This is somebody that could be having some sort of loss in their life as well. And they want you to pity them. Like, this is somebody that wants you to feel sorry for them. Somebody here could even lost a loved one. My condolences. You know, I'm, I'm really sorry. It's really, and I, I, I truly mean that. I'm sending my deepest condolences to anybody that have lost a loved one. That's never easy. But I feel like if that is the case, this person is going to throw that out there. Like, just to put, you know, the icing on the cake. No shade. But... It's like, Gemini, you just like, okay, like, I'm sorry for your loss too, but <clears throat> motherfucker, you got to get away from my door. Like, I don't know, it's something like that. Oh my goodness, okay? Let's see what your advice is. Gemini, I feel like you don't need no advice. You know exactly what the fuck you're doing in this situation, for real. Like, you showing up as somebody that knows exactly what they're doing in this situation. 
Some of you could be connecting to someone new, possibly an Aquarius. This person can have strong Aquarius in their chart. Uh, Ten of Cups here, Ace of Wands. Yeah, you got some new. Some of y'all got some new dick, okay? Like, yeah, and it's in the house, okay? So some of y'all could be moving in with somebody or somebody's moving in with you or this is something that you're thinking about. Maybe you want to take it slow, but shit, you just feel like you're doing the right thing, okay? But we got the Ace of Wands here and the Ten of Cups. Uh, be mindful of pregnancy as well. Some of y'all got a new person. Or you about to have a new person And whoever I just talked about uh, For you, that person is going to be mad They probably going to want to fight your new person Or fight with you about having a new person Fight with you about moving on They going to be mad as hell Okay, this person may even want to be a third party on the side So it's like your ex want to be a third party now <laughs> Like, again with the third parties Like this motherfucker don't mind having third parties And I feel like they don't mind being a third party either Like they don't mind being a fucking secret They like Gemini, just fuck with me again Somebody here could be a Pisces Or they can have strong Pisces in their chart This person out of fucking control And I just feel like Y'all not about to ruin something good You know, fucking with this person they're watching you. They're watching you a lot. They're watching you hard, okay? You are under heavy surveillance, okay? This person is seeing how much you're healing. They feel like you're no longer codependent. So this is somebody that could have viewed you as someone that was codependent at one point, okay? This person is up in their head because you've healed. They don't understand this. I feel like, again, they're in heavy regret. Five of Cups, they're disappointed. They're crying and sad. But I feel like they're doing this in secret. Somebody here could be very prideful. Somebody here could have um, decided to go towards someone else and this person don't really love them and they feel like they not getting nothing out of this situation and now they want to come back towards you but you're done you've walked away you're like no you made your bed now you gotta lay in it you chose to leave me yeah this person could have chose to leave you and went towards somebody else that they they felt like the grass was greener with yeah four wands in the reverse to the five pentacles this person could have gave you their ass to kiss chose a queen of cups in the reverse didn't realize that this person didn't really love them didn't realize that they wasn't going to really get nothing out of this situation now that they see that they not getting nothing out of this situation they want to come back towards you like i said gemini you don't really need no advice because the answer is fucking no you know it's no and you standing on that you standing on fucking business whoever i'm talking to oh yeah you're not playing it's like i'm standing on business and uh yeah i said what i said now get the fuck out of get, get out of my driveway okay get from in front of my door okay i will smash your finger i will smash your toes excuse me like somebody here could even be trying to pop up on you or come to your house you like oh hell no you got to go you can't be in front of my door you cannot be um in my driveway no you cannot <laughs> Yo, Gemini, you don't need no advice, bro. <laughs> you don't need no advice, sis. Whoever I just picked up on, oh, y'all don't need no advice. You said I got this. I'll take you from here. <laughs> Gemini. Yo, Gemini, I love y'all. I swear I do. Oh, my God. I love my ear signs. Yeah, this person made an impulsive decision and they regret it. That's why. Okay? It's like somebody here could have even, like, gave you their ass to kiss and they was feeling real confident about giving you their ass to kiss. And now they want to come back around. The fool in the reverse and the star reverse. This person made an impulsive decision. And now they up in their head. I'm telling you. this. I'm telling you. Whatever move this person made, they thought they was doing something. Like, they thought they was, you know, like, they was making the right move here. And now they in heavy regret. They like, Gemini, you don't understand. Like, you know, I don't know what, what was going on when my mom was. You know, I was tripping. I was... You know, I was thinking about such and such, you know, like, you know, you know, I'll be tripping sometimes, you know, sometimes I don't really be, <sighs> somebody here could be hitting y'all up drunk because I'm, I don't know, for some reason, as I was saying that, I felt like somebody here could be under the influence in some way. So some of y'all could have been, some of y'all could be getting contacted by somebody that could be under the influence. Okay, some of y'all, this person definitely a Leo. We keep getting Leo here. But this person is exhausted. They're drained. They're tired. They feel trapped. They feel stuck. This person could be in spiritual jail right now. Okay, or they may be thinking that they're going to go to actual jail. This person got a lot fucking going on with them. And I just feel like it's none of your concern. It's not your goddamn problem. That's what you're saying. You're saying it's none of my concern. It's not my problem. Okay, that's your problem now. You chose to have those problems when you chose to deceive me and go elsewhere. Motherfucker, don't ask for my help. I can't assist you. Like, Gemini, you really, uh, you, yo, you really letting somebody know 
what the fuck it is and what it ain't okay and like i said bitch you ain't need no advice let's move on to my cancers oh my goodness okay let's move on to cancer cancer how you doing sugar dumplings what's going on cancer what's up sugar sun moon venus rising north node cancer your current situation Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer regarding their current situation? Please and thank you. What messages do you have for Cancer regarding their current situation? Give me two more shuffles. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer regarding their current situation? Let's see, Cancer. Your current situation. Five of Pentacles. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Somebody here has walked away from the other person and they feel good about it because they feel like a weight has been lifted off their shoulders. Somebody here feel like they was dealing with somebody that was very money hungry, uh, very combative, argumentative, lazy, wanting to be taken care of. Somebody here that's very, somebody here says somebody is very entitled and they don't like that. Somebody here is very unappreciative. Okay, so unappreciative okay dismissive rude and entitled and yeah that's what i'm saying somebody feels like they was dealing with somebody that was entitled unappreciative rude and um yeah it's like you want to be treated like a king a queen whatever and motherfucker you don't even deserve that king and queen treatment you so entitled and you so unappreciative you so rude you so like the fuck like i don't gotta worship the ground you walk on i don't gotta kiss your ass um <laughs> who is this cancer yeah cancer i feel like you like uh-uh like i don't know who the fuck you think you are. i don't know what you think this is okay but i ain't your mama i ain't your daddy like i ain't gonna tell you you're doing a good job when you really ain't you know i'm not about to um award i'm not about to reward bad behavior like it's like somebody here want this over the top um it's like somebody here want this over the top treatment when they really don't deserve that shit i feel like you walking away from somebody that you feel like was using you so somebody here in this situation could have felt like they was being used and now they're walking away it's like i'm not gonna allow you to use me anymore i'm not gonna allow you to use me i'm done i'm done yeah somebody here is done king of cups in the reverse somebody here is done okay or oh, Taurus, you know, I feel like some of y'all are done. Somebody here, yeah, you know, somebody here done. They walking away. I can't make it up. Five of Pentacles here in the Eight of Cups. It's like I'm walking away. You're so entitled. You're so arrogant. You won't change. You're so fucking blockheaded. And you don't love me. You know, we got the King of Cups in the reverse. Somebody here feel like somebody don't love them. Maybe they was in a situation for only what they can get. For some of you, it's material items, um, finances. And then it could just be something is something like, you know, you're just your energy. Your good energy, your sex, your time. You, you know, just, just you. Like somebody here just was entitled to you, your energy, and everything great that comes along with you. And I feel like you putting an end to this shit because you feel like this motherfucker don't appreciate you. You feel like this person is immature as well. Very immature, very inconsiderate of your feelings. And they're not trying to change. This situation is not growing. You don't really feel like this person is changing in any way. You don't feel like they're trying to change. This is somebody that's like, take me as I am. And you like, God damn it, I'm not, I'm not going to take you as you are. Because no, it's not, it's not fulfilling me. Okay. It's like, I'm playing myself by staying in this with you. I'm doing a disservice to myself by staying with you. Okay. I feel like you've given somebody more than enough time to see what the issue is and what they need to work on and they just refuse to it's like either love me or leave it alone either love me or leave me alone and i feel like you saying well motherfucker i'm gonna just leave you alone because i don't love it i'm not loving this and i feel like you don't love me either king of cups in the reverse i just feel like this person is very cold too like for some of you this person is very cold or they're very nonchalant it gets on your fucking nerves you need somebody that's going to be more attentive more open and honest with their feelings somebody that's more emotionally available and stable y'all feel like this person emotionally unstable emotionally unavailable and withdrawn and just fucking in their ego. And some of y'all, this person can't even stop cheating. They can't keep their dick in their pants. 
mans. For some of y'all, this is a man that just be playing fucking games. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody that broke your heart, but you, damn it, you healing. And you healing pretty quickly. Because I feel like you, some of y'all been putting up with this shit for a long time and enough is enough. I'm hearing enough is enough. I just heard Libra. Yeah, confirmation. <laughs> Somebody here could be dealing with a Libra. I don't have Libra on this table, but damn it, I just heard Libra. Some of y'all dealing with a Libra, an Aquarius, an Aries Leo Sag, okay? A fellow water sign. Somebody even showing water in their chart. Yeah, you over this. Hell yeah. Some of y'all could have even found out about a third party. Somebody here could be a Gemini or somebody here could have shown Gemini in their chart. I feel like this person want to hold on to you or you found out that they holding on to a third party. They still holding on to somebody that they used to share a home with or even had children with. And you know for a fact that they still holding on to somebody. And I just feel like you confused in this situation and you just want to go. Yeah, the chariot, you just want to go. You just want to move forward. The chariot is somebody that wants to go and move forward. Uh, Cancer, this is also your major arcana and upright. There's judgment being called in this situation. I feel like God is giving you the most high. The universe is definitely you, definitely giving you the signs that you need to move on. Like You could even be coming across different signs and messages or having different prophetic dreams. It's like your guides are fully communicating to you what it is that you need to do. So as far as your advice is concerned, your guides is giving it to you. The most high, the creator, your spirit team, your ancestors, your spirit guides, they're telling you to move the fuck on, okay? Some of y'all could have Virgo in your chart. You could have Libra, Taurus, Pisces in your chart. But you are somebody that's extremely intuitive. Your guides are telling you to move the fuck on move around i also feel like there's more than a third party here y'all are dealing with somebody here this motherfucker don't love nobody i feel like they just trying to get in where they fit in this person trying to go to the highest bidder it's something here where this person is an opportunist this person gonna go wherever they feel like they gonna grow at and i mean who don't want to be in a situation that they're going to grow in but it's like it's no love it's not about love this is the type of motherfucker that will marry for money they don't gotta be in love with you shit they don't even gotta be attracted to you they gonna be with whoever is going to you know have them in a better position financially this person only cares about status they care about just their reputation their appearance their status and they fucking bank account that's all they care about they don't have to be attracted to you they don't have to love you because at the end of the day they're gonna go out and do what they want anyway so it don't matter if they're not attracted to you or whatever because and i'm not saying that's how it is with y'all don't get i'm just describing this person they don't give a fuck like that don't matter to them Loving somebody, being attracted to them, wanting to be with them, that, that don't mean shit to them. Like, listen, who got the most money? Who going to put me in a position to win? Who going to look good for me? What's going to happen with my reputation, my image? That's what somebody's main fucking focus and concern is, okay? And like I said, they don't got to be attracted to you. They don't got to love you. They don't got to have feelings for you because they're going to go out and, and get the, get whatever it is that they, they need elsewhere. Like this is somebody that has no problem stepping out and getting what it is that they need. They ain't really attracted to your ass, but damn it, you you about to be a millionaire. So they're going to they gonna marry you. They're going to marry you because you about to be a millionaire. And then they're going to go out and sleep with somebody that they actually physically attracted to. Like that's how this person think. Oh, no. Hell fucking no. I don't like this person and I don't like their energy. The Emperor in reverse, the King of Cups reverse, the Fool reverse, the King of Wands reverse. Oh, get the fuck on, sir. You can get the fuck on. Yeah, I feel like Cancer, you're getting the fuck on. You're moving on. This is somebody that you have karmic ties with. There could be some sort of karmic soul tie to this person and you closing that shit the fuck out. Everything that I'm saying is the truth, Ace of Swords. You feel like this person is toxic as hell and you would be right. This person is toxic and I feel like they unhappy because you see everything that i just said everything that i just said about this person is the motherfucking truth and god damn it you see it for what it is you see this shit clearly maybe at one point you had some fucking rose colored glasses on but you no longer have those rose colored glasses on you see this person clearly for who they fucking are and you have no problem closing this motherfucking cycle out it's over. It's over and done. And you're going into hermit mode. You don't want to fucking be bothered. You can have Virgo in your chart. I also feel like there's another person here. So there's a fourth party that's showing up as the Empress High Priestess. Or 
Again, Cancer, you could be embodying that energy as well. But I'm really getting here that there's another party here showing up as the Empress and the High Priestess. This person also don't want to be with this person. So it's like everybody is seeing this person for who they truly are. And y'all all dipping on this person. None of y'all want to fuck with this person at all. None of y'all want to entertain this person because y'all see them for who they truly are. This is somebody that's been wearing a mask. I feel like they're very charming. They could be very good looking. But this is somebody here that know how to pull them and they know how to get people to invest in them. This is somebody that knows how to get people to invest in them. They're a good talker. This person got the gift of fucking gab. But every dog has his day. I feel like this person never seen this shit coming. The fact that nobody that they trying to finesse want them, they can't understand this. They can't wrap their mind around this. I feel like all they hoes or all they hoes that they think they feel they have all their options are all turning their back on them. And they like, what the fuck? Like, y'all should be happy that I... Whoever this is, they're very arrogant. With the Emperor in the Reverse, this is somebody that's very fucking arrogant and stubborn. This person is on some shit like, y'all motherfuckers should be happy that I even want y'all or even would allow y'all to sleep with me. Y'all all gonna reject me? Like, are y'all bitches dumb? Like, this is this person's attitude. This person's so full of themselves. Oh, this person is toxic as fuck. Toxic as fuck. Okay, I don't even have to give you another spread for your advice. Your advice is to walk the fuck away, to move forward. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. But, I mean, this is somebody that's toxic as fuck. It's like, y'all bitches should be happy that I would even let you get some of this dick. It's like, my nigga, what? Like, this is somebody that's walking around thinking that they God's gift. Like, yo, this person is about to be humbled. This person is about to go through some sort of ego death when they realize that all their options are actually walking away from them. They have no options now. <laughs> yo, God is humbling the fuck out of this person. You hear me? Oh, God is really humbling this person. Humbling the fuck out of them. This person is going through an ego death. They're having a humbling experience right now. This person is having a, a, a huge slice of humble pie uh, of of humble pie right now okay like for real for reals okay listen you don't need another spread for advice your advice is to walk away i feel like you are with the chariot you moving forward you headed in a new direction cancer and i feel like this person is very confused they don't understand that there could be a, a pisces or a sagittarius aquarius third party that's still kind of hanging on to this person yeah that's the truth but this is somebody that they just sleep with. They don't take that person seriously either. This motherfucker don't take nobody seriously. Because they the emperor in the reverse. The king of cups in the reverse. They heart don't be in... They heart don't be in shit. They just want to empty their balls and have somebody put them in a better position financially or to help them win. That's it. Empty my balls and put me in a better position to win in life. I don't give a fuck if I don't feel no connection to you. Okay, I don't want to be connected. This person actually don't want to be in love. I feel like this person never really been in love and they like this is somebody that got childhood trauma that they're not healing from. This is not somebody whose heart space or heart chakra is open in any way. It's like get money, fuck bitches. That's how this person is living. And I feel like this is somebody that is of age and they still got that mentality. This person gonna be alone forever if they don't grow the fuck up for real. Oh, that person just got on my nerves. Oh, cancer, that person just got on my nerves. Oh, they just got on my fucking nerves, y'all. Y'all don't understand. That person energy just blew mine. Oh, <laughs> that person energy blew mine, y'all. <laughs> I feel like this person is going through an ego death. They having <coughs> some sort of um, ego death. This person is being humbled in some way. Okay, yeah, with the death card here, this person is like going through a transformation. They need to. They need to. They they really do need to. Okay? This person is being sat the fuck down by spirit. By the Lord himself. God is sitting this person down once and for all. Because God is tired of this person too. The Lord is tired. Um, the Lord is tired of this person. Alright? Let's move on to my Leos. Can't, I cannot. Let's move on to Leo. Sun, moon, Venus, rising in North Node. Spirit, can I get a message for my beautiful and handsome Leos? What messages do you have for Leo regarding their current situation? What's going on with Leo and their current situation? Please and thank you. Leo and their current situation. Two more shuffles. 
Give me a message for Leo and their current situation. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Give me a message for Leo and their current situation. Justice. Some of y'all could be dealing with Libras, King of Swords. No, Knight of Swords in a reverse. Justice, Eight of Swords in reverse. Oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Somebody here could be getting in trouble. Leo, we got the sun at the bottom of the deck, the King of Swords. I feel like... Let me clarify everything. Yeah, somebody here is heavily burdened and weighed down. Um, somebody here could have a legal situation as well. Somebody here could be, yeah, somebody here could definitely be going to court. Somebody here could have a court date. Somebody here could be in a legal situation. Somebody here very codependent as well. It's not this emperor, though. Give me something on the emperor. Page of Wands, the high priestess. Somebody here very intuitive. Give me a sign on the emperor. What's going on with the emperor? Page of cups. High priestess, page of wands. Mm. Seven of cups reverse, hey man. Somebody here could be dealing with a Scorpio, an Aries, a Gemini, a Virgo, a Libra. Somebody with that in their chart. Somebody in this situation feels rejected. Somebody here is going through an extreme tower moment. Somebody here is very fucking mad. They could be mad because somebody blocked them or they won't talk to them. Somebody here blocked somebody. Yo, what the fuck is this? It's too much going on here, okay? It's way too much going on here. Let me really take my time and, and cut this down here. Let me Let me... So I see a situation here with a king and a queen of wands both in a reverse here. These are two people that are like toxic for one another. I feel like they bring out the worst in each other. They cheat on each other. They sleep around. They argue with each other a lot. They put each other down. It's just a toxic connection. It's a karmic duo here. These two people going through an extreme tower moment. Leo, this could be you in this situation. You need to get out of this situation. You need to heal. But also, I feel like this could be people outside of you. So y'all take this message as it resonates. It's going to be different for all of y'all. Somebody here could be going through a divorce. Like if these are people outside of you, these people are finally breaking up. They're going through a divorce or something, which is good. They both need to heal. But... I feel like, Leo, somebody here wants to come towards you, but you block them. Like, somebody here want to have an equal give and take connection with you, but you block them. You're no longer waiting on them. So, somebody here thought you was waiting on them. This is somebody here that didn't give you no love. This is somebody that was very cold, very standoffish. Or whatever love they gave you, it was very, um, it was, like, very short-lived. Like, somebody here could have been, like, hot and cold with y'all. Or showing you a lot of attention, showing you love, and then just pulling back, pulling away. It's like, motherfucker, do you want me or not? And I feel like you got tired of dealing with this person, or you got tired of waiting for a real offer from them, or you got tired of waiting for them to really express their feelings for you. And so it's like, fuck it. Like, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. I'm not going to wait on you. I'm going to live my life. And that's your justice to be in that energy. Like... You you shouldn't be waiting on somebody. Never put your life on hold for somebody. Never wait on somebody. I feel like you're not putting your life on hold for this person. You're not waiting for them. And I just feel like they're they're like, what? Like, this person want to work together with you now. Now that you've pulled back your energy and you're not waiting for them, and you're not waiting for them to express their love or to be vulnerable, to be open with you, or to stop playing games, now that you're not in that energy of waiting on them anymore, or waiting to hear from them. It's like you're not waiting for this person to put in the work, to put in the effort, to put in time. You're not waiting anymore if you was before. And now that they know this, they know that you pulled your energy back, they want to work together with you now. And I just feel like, no, okay, like, fuck out of here. <laughs> Justice here. Yeah, I feel like, no. Yeah, Six of Swords. you like, nah, I'm, I'm off. I'm off. I'm off of this. Like, I'm off this. Yeah, judgment. Judgment is being called in this situation. You're you're done. But I feel like 
some of y'all may actually revisit this. Some of y'all may actually give this person another chance. So it's going to be different for all of y'all. I see some of y'all leaving and you, you're done for real. And then I feel like others of you, you actually going to be okay with this. Like you're actually going to reconcile with this person. Leo, be careful because I don't see this person still. I see this person is still not opening up. Like this is going to reopen a wound here. Like this is this person has not changed, y'all. This is a warning. Like this is somebody that's still false. This is somebody that's still wearing a mask. Like you're only going to be disappointed in this situation with the five of cups. You're only going to be disappointed in this situation. You're going to feel like you wasted your time. I, I'm dead serious. Like, yeah, like, you're not going to feel like there's any equal give and take. You're going to feel like this person is still breadcrumbing you. This is somebody that holds back. This is somebody that uses the silent treatment as a form of punishment. Some of y'all could, like, this person feels like they should punish people. Like, this is somebody that walk around saying they're going to punish people or they're going to teach people a lesson. This person is very secretive as well. Hell fucking no. Hell no. Hell fucking no. Some of y'all dealing with an, another uh, Leo, a Pisces, a Virgo, a Libra, a Gemini. Whoever you dealing with, this is a no. Okay? Why is the Eight of Swords in the reverse here? Ten of Cups. So I feel like somebody here is facing poverty. Somebody here facing poverty. Somebody here feeling trapped, feeling stuck while you moving on. I'm moving on. Yeah. And this is fated for this to happen this way. Will of Fortune. Leo, you will be happy. I see marriage in the future for you. It's just that you got to stand on business. It's like you got to let the most high, you got to let the universe know that you're not accepting less than what it is that you actually trying to manifest which, what it is that you deserve. As soon as you like really let the universe know that you're not playing about you, it's like it's going to help you attract what's really for you. Because some of y'all really want marriage or you really want something solid and stable. And you deserve that. I also feel like for some of y'all, y'all are in a situation where you do have a stable relationship that can lead to marriage. Or you are engaged, congratulations, or you are married. And it's a happy marriage. I'm also getting a message like that for some of y'all. But there's an outsider, there's a third party that's trying to bring conflict to you and this person's marriage and y'all relationship, an empress in the reverse. This bitch is obsessed with you. She's obsessed with your life. She could be a Libra, a Taurus, a Sagittarius. She could have that in their chart. She could have those placements in her chart. She's obsessed with you. She's obsessed with your relationship. She's obsessed with your marriage. And this bitch is doing spell work on y'all or just, yeah, or sending y'all negative energy, trying to get y'all to fight and shit. She's trying to break up your happy home and it's not working. And she's just mad because she's going to be alone for the rest of her life. Something about a lot of things that this woman has done in her life, it, it has kind of like cursed her love life because it's like she really want love, but she's wicked. So she's done so much in her life that it's like her karma, a form of her karma is to never have somebody that she can call her own. This woman is not never going to be in a relationship. And I feel like she know that. So she just go around trying to manipulate other people that are in happy, successful connections because she don't want them to have love either. And that's very sad. That's very sad. This woman is, is very pathetic. She's sad. And she could be a Libra, a Taurus, a Sagittarius, but she could have that in her chart. This is a witch, a, a bad, a wicked witch, a bad one. Like she just wicked as fuck. And she literally go around manipulating people energy. Anybody she see in a happy relationship or marriage, she automatically sending them negative energy, wanting to see them fight. This is a bitch that 
throw stones and hide her hands. Like she just do shit and she sit back behind the scenes and watch to see if it's working. Did they break up? Yeah, are they arguing? Are they fighting? Do they think that their spouse is cheating on them? Good. Like this is somebody that wants to see, like, oh, you think they like that's the type of energy she that's the type of energy she sends to people that are in happy, fulfilling commitments. She's like, she wants you to think that your man is cheating on you, or she wants your man to think that you're cheating on him. It's like she just the master of illusions. Like, this bitch work for the devil. <laughs> for real, she do. She is the devil's daughter, okay? Like, this is bitch here. She a piece of work. And she very argumentative. She got, she's always arguing with somebody. She always talking about somebody. Something about this person body shaming as well. She likes to body shame people. This, oh, this heifer here. Let me get out of her energy, but... For some of y'all, it's something like that going on too. But I feel like you and your person staying together. For those of you that resonate with the second half of the message, y'all definitely staying together with that person. And that wicked witch need to just go sit the fuck down somewhere and try to heal. But I just feel like it's too late for her. She loves it where she's at. She loves the darkness. She's too deep in it. You know, she's, um, her soul is, is with the devil. Like she, she gonna be like this for the rest of her days here. Um, as far as your advice, for those of you that resonate with that second half of the message, your advice is to just keep loving your person. Stay prayed up, okay? Stay prayed up. Keep loving your person. Make sure that y'all cleanse your home and just keep loving each other. As long as you crazy about them, they crazy about you, you both willing to work things out and y'all not giving up on each other and y'all know that y'all happy, that's it. And it's even better to protect your relationship and your marriage when you know that something like this is going on. Don't let it affect y'all, okay? Nobody can hold us, us down. Never can, never will. I'm hearing that old song by Christina Aguilera. Can't hold us down. Yeah, nobody can't hold y'all down. Leo, you and your person are going to be very happy together for the rest of y'all life, okay? Don't worry about this wicked witch. I feel like you're not. You could even be a high priestess. So you know that this bitch is a master manipulator. You know... That she's jealous of your marriage. She's jealous of your relationship, your engagement. You know this. And you also know that this is something that she desires that she's never going to have in this lifetime. And this is why she's projecting negative, nasty energy to you. But you blocking that shit out. You cleansing your space. I feel like your spirit guides is blocking that shit out as well. Like you don't need no advice in this situation. You know exactly what to do. Stay prayed up. Stay prayed up. Stay together. A family that prays together stays together. Like I feel like you and your person are good yeah you keep you showing up as somebody that is very intuitive you could be very spiritual leo some of y'all are high priestesses okay star seeds we got the star and the high priestess you know what the fuck is up whoever this message whoever this message resonate for you definitely know what's up you do you know what's up like you know exactly how to handle this um you ain't giving this whole any power good for you good for you um yeah good for you all right let's move on to my virgos let's see virgo your current situation spirit give me some messages for virgo regarding their current situation please and thank you give me some messages for virgo regarding their current situation give me some messages for virgo regarding their current situation some of you could be dealing with a cappy you could be dealing with a capricorn what's going on with virgo and their current situation uh -oh. Oh, Lord. <coughs> all right some of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well, a Scorpio. I feel like if you're dealing with a Scorpio, you feel breadcrumbed in this situation. I feel like somebody here wants you to be binded to them, okay, Virgo? Somebody here that ain't giving you shit wants you to be binded to them. They want you to feel connected to them. But I feel like this person don't give you anything. Like, they don't give, they don't show you. Like, it's like somebody here gives you absolutely nothing, but they want you to be 
connected to them for life. They want you to be binded to them. They want you to be stuck on them. They want you to be scared to move on to new love or date someone new. It's like, what the fuck? This person codependent on y'all. But this is somebody that has nothing to offer. This is somebody that's in a lot of regret. They're very disappointed with their life. They just disappointed with their life. This person's going through something right now. Yeah, they're they're mad. They want to communicate with you. I feel like you know that. Some of y'all could feel this person's energy. They're like, that's what they want. They want you to feel their energy. This person feels like you're a healer. You could be a healer with the star and the high priestess. Virgo, you are somebody that's very healing. Something about you is very healing. Okay, and like I said, you could be a healer, you could be a high priestess, you could have psychic abilities, uh, you could be intuitive, some of y'all could even be readers, but you're very spiritual, and you know how to heal yourself, and you know how to heal others, you know how to help others heal, is what I should say. And it's like, this person want to give you an offer because they need your healing, they need your love, they need your magic, they need your healing, this is somebody that wants to marry you. This person could even be thinking about marriage. They could be thinking about proposing to you. This person is saying they in love with y'all. Could be a Scorpio. This person is heartbroken though. They saying they in love with you, but they also heartbroken at the same time. Yeah. I feel like this person hasn't changed. Yeah, some of y'all are ignoring this person. Y'all not paying this person any mind. This person could have put you in a third party in the past or they at least tried to get you to be in a third party. This person could have even hid a third party from you. This person could have made you feel like you was the only one, but you really wasn't. This person just wants you to be stuck on them. Like, this is somebody that is a player. Like, they wanted to play around with third parties, but they always wanted to keep you on the side or like they just wanted to have you stuck on them so that when they done fucking playing games with all these holes out here when it's time to settle down you'll still be there for them it's like lord please save her for me do this one favor for me okay i'm hearing bryce and tiller lord please save her for me so this person could even be crying out to the most highs of the universe to, to save you for them. Like, Virgo, you're marriage material. Whoever I'm talking to, you're a husband, you're a wife, period. I'm surprised the Empress didn't come out. It might. But you are wifey material. You are husband material. And this person knows this, but they were not ready to be with just one person. And so they wanted to bind you to them. For you to stay stuck on them, even though they're not investing in you in any way. They want you to be attached to them so that when they get done fucking around out here in these streets, having community D, having community P, once they done fucking everybody and their mama, everybody and their daddy, they could come back and get you. Like this person wants you to wait on them until they done being a player. That's what I'm seeing here. Somebody here wanted you to be so stuck on them, waiting on them until they done being a player. And I feel like now this person is crying because they feel like you're not waiting on them. They feel like the plan didn't work. They feel like you're not binded to them. You're not waiting on them. And they mad. I feel like now this person feel forced to get rid of their player ways so that they could be with you. I also feel like... Like, God is playing some tricks with this person. Like, God wants this person to feel like things are completely over between you two. So that this person can be humbled. So that this person can go through an awakening. They can go through a transformation. They can have some sort of ascension. This person needs to grow the fuck up. And I feel like this person had to be shaken up. I feel like God is shaking this person up and activating their healing by making this person believe that you two will never be together ever again. Now, the crazy thing about it is, is that I still feel like there's a chance for you to. But I feel like God purposely wants this person to believe that something here is completely over and they're never going to have you so that now they can feel forced 
to do what they need to do. <laughs> God plan, yo. It's so funny how this message is coming out. God really wants this person to believe that things are really over between you two. This person showing up as the king of wands. It's like y'all could build a really beautiful family together. Yeah, here you are, Virgo. King of wands, king of pentacles, the hermit. It's working too. This person trying to manifest y'all. They trying to call y'all in. God is not going to allow this person to have you until they're ready. Until they're prepared. Until they get their shit together. God don't want this person nowhere near you until they clean up their act. And I feel like they're cleaning up their act because they looking at you as the one that got away. They feel like they lost the love of their life. And so now they crying and they trying to get their shit together and chase you. This person about to chase y'all. Huh? And that's exactly how God is setting it up. God wanted to be this way. Because this person was just going to take their time and keep fucking around, keep being out here in these streets and then do behind the scenes doing spell work or manipulating your energy for you to stay bonded to them, for you to be waiting on them while they not giving you nothing to work with. I feel like this person don't give y'all shit to work with. This is somebody that y'all probably not even in communication with, but you feel energetically connected to them. This person pulls on your energy. Mm -hmm. They pull on your energy. They invade your space. For some of you, this person astro projects to you. They do the absolute fucking most. They do any and everything they can to stay energetically connected to you. This person has, you, you two have some sort of energetic cord between one another. So it doesn't matter if you haven't seen or talked to this person in a long time. You feel them every single day. This is very unfair to you that this person has been doing this. This is very fucking unfair what I'm seeing here. They're selfish. This person is selfish, but this person is selfish about you and they in love with you, but they just, they're not going to do right by you because this person is still playing games. I feel like now they feel forced to get they shit together to clean up they act because they're under the impression that you're about to have new love or somebody about to wife y'all up and they shit in bricks right now. This is their biggest fear. You opening up your heart to new love or you marrying somebody this is their biggest fucking fear so this person is like really 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 cleaning up they act right now and they about to chase you mm -hmm. this person about to chase y'all somebody here could be an aries leo a sag a virgo taurus capricorn a gemini a cancer this person about to chase y'all this person literally about to chase y'all god is protecting you from this person and this person is behind the scenes crying and nervous because they know that anybody that gets you is not going to let you go. You are the prize here. This person knows that you're the prize. They know that you're a husband. They know that you're the wife. They know that you are top tier, okay? And they really scared about somebody marrying you. They feel like anybody that you date or get into a relationship with is, go is not going to want to let you go. They're going to even want to marry you. They feel like you everybody's dream man or everybody's dream girl. And they are shitting bricks right now. This person is about to really work hard to change so that God will let them come back into your life. This person is scared. They feel like they've lost you forever. That's good for them. I don't feel bad. I I'm actually happy that God playing tricks on this person. Yeah, I hope that this person really feel like they lost you. Yeah, this person about to reach out for some of y'all because they shitting bricks. Whoever this is, they're shitting bricks. This person may even be thinking that y'all are dating someone. Virgo, maybe you are dating somebody. I don't know. But I'm just saying, I, and I'm not going to tell them either. I'm not going to tell them. I'm going to play right along with the most high. Because this person played too much. And they've been very selfish for a long time by energetically attaching to you and trying to keep you stuck and binded to them, trying to keep you in your head about them, trying to keep you waiting on them. This person has been actively doing this shit behind the scenes. So if you was wondering why you just can't stop thinking about this person or you can't shake this motherfucker, it's because they was playing on your energy. This is somebody that's also trying to sleep with y'all in a dream state. So yeah, this is somebody that don't have no respect for your fucking boundaries. And they keep saying it's because they in love with you and they selfish about you. But this is somebody here that feels like you two have unfinished business. 
They want to have some sort of brand new passionate beginning with you. But God said they can't come nowhere near you until they really get their shit together. So God is carefully monitoring this person to see if they're doing the self-work, if they're healing. But this person is very, they're very sad. They're crying. They're disappointed behind the scenes because they feel like they lost you forever. This person could have even chose a third party that they felt like was better than you. They could have chose a third party over you. And now they're ready to walk away from that third party, heal and chase you. God got this person head fucking spinning. You hear me? This person is very scared that you about to marry somebody else or be with somebody else. They're scared. <laughs> I feel like y'all going to be together, but listen, <laughs> this shit is funny how this came out. Let me see. Um, what's the advice? What's the advice for you, Virgo? Swear, what's the advice for Virgo in this situation? What's the advice for my Virgos in this situation? This person is crying out to the Lord saying, please save her for me. Virgo, your advice is to not stress this person and to keep moving forward. Okay? If they get it together, they get it together. If they don't, they don't. God wants you to focus on yourself Keep investing in yourself. Focus on what's actually feeding you your for your highest good, what's actually feeding your soul. Focus on you. Learn to let go and walk away. Eight of Cups. Judgment is being called in this situation. Learn to let go and walk away. Stop worrying about this person. Stop losing sleep over this person. This person is worried and losing sleep over you because they feel like you've walked away from good. That's what I see too. This person, this your emperor, that's, that's good for them. I don't feel bad for this person not one bit. That's what the fuck they get. That's what they get. Mm -hmm. God know exactly what he doing in this situation. God always know what he doing. I, I don't feel sorry for this emperor, but this is your this is your divine masculine. This is your counterpart. For some of you, this is your twin is what I just heard. This could be your twin flame. This is good for them. God is teaching this person a lesson. This person is panicking. They're worried, okay? They could be having dreams about you. They know that they fucked up. They know they went the wrong way. This person is having anxiety. They overthinking. You live in this person rent-free. You live in their head rent-free, they eat, sleep, dream, shit you, Virgo. Like everything about you, everything, everything that's going on in their life, all they think about is you. Like, it's like this person could be going through a lot right now, but they just, all they think about is you. This person can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, that's the truth, Ace of Swords. Like you live in this motherfucker head rent free. This person is going crazy about you. They about to reach out because they can't take it no more. This person is about to fucking combust. This person is about to burst, Okay. This person is about to communicate to you. They they want to tell you how they feel. They feel like they're running out of time. This person think y'all dating somebody. And like I said, maybe for some of you, you are. But this person feel like somebody about to marry you or date you or you about to have somebody else. And they can't have that. That's their worst fucking fear. That's their, that's their fucking biggest nightmare. That's their biggest fear. This person going to lose their mind if something like that ever happened. Like if you was to actually invest in new love or actually marry somebody or commit to somebody else... This person, I don't know what this person will do. This person, they, they'll lose their mind though. I know that. They so scared. They about to reach out. They got to reach out. Even if they not fully healed just yet, they got to at least tell you how they feel. This person feel like they running out of time, man. Your advice in this situation is to keep moving forward though. Okay? Like God don't want you to stay stuck on this person. There's a lot that you need to focus on as far as your life is concerned. So... God just wants you to stay focused on yourself. This person really going to be trying to fight for y'all, though. This person going to chase y'all. I'm telling you. This person going to chase y'all. They coming back around. They going to try to fight for y'all. This person going to even propose to you for some of you. I see a celebration, though, and a commitment. So I feel like, you know, y'all may actually be with this person. But God really playing mind games with this person. And then for others of you, Virgo... Yeah, that's what I see. I do. I can't. I see that. They got to stop being a player, though, because they dealing with a queen of cups and a reverse. OK, so that's the third party that they could have chose that they chose over y'all that they felt was better than y'all. That person don't love them. They realize that. And now they, they salty. <laughs> 
they so attracted to you. They want you. They hoping that you're still single. They could be finding out that you're single and they about to make a solid decision to close out a cycle with a third party because they unhappy there and they about to take a leap of faith towards you. Your advice is to not hit this person up. God said, you don't hit this person up. This person got to come to you. This person got to invest in you. This person got to prove to you that they serious. God said, don't hit this person up. Virgo, don't you fucking hit this person up. God said, keep moving forward and, and play along. Make this person feel like they lost you forever. I'm, I'm dead ass. That's the message I'm getting. <laughs> you don't hit this person up. Keep going. God said, make this person uh hit you up. This person is receiving a lot of karma right now, too, for what they did. Pulling on your energy for this long and shit like this. Yeah, this was an injustice. This is somebody that actually betrayed y'all as well. They've also betrayed you in some way. And they chose somebody that they thought was better than you. Yeah, will of fortune in the reverse here to the justice reverse. Yeah, this person is getting karma right now. So God is, is working on this person. God is making this person believe that they lost you forever. God is also dishing out some sort of karma to this person for betraying you. But, yeah, what I said going to happen is going to happen, but it ain't going to happen right now because this person getting an ass whooping, they're going through a towel moment, and they got to tie up some loose ends with karmics. They got to close out cycles with karmics, and they got to close out a cycle with a third party that they thought was better than you, that they chose over you. This person holding on to you for their life. This person said you theirs, you belong to them. Child, please. <laughs> God said this person is crazy, but I feel like y'all both crazy about each other. I ain't even gonna hold you. But God said this person not ready for you just yet. <sighs> Lord. Let's move on to Libra, please. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, and north no Libra. What's going on with Libra in their current situation? Libra, here you are. Justice in the reverse. You may not be feeling something right now. You could feel like somebody did you dirty. Somebody did you foul. Some of y'all could be dealing with another Libra. Libra in their current situation. Somebody here feel bad. Somebody here feel bad for betraying you. Somebody here could feel bad about gossiping about you. Somebody here knows that you fully closed out a cycle with them and now you're much happier. You're at peace. Somebody here feel like you're quiet. You want to be left alone. You don't want to talk to them. You don't want to be bothered. Libra, you showing up as the hermit in this situation. I feel like you could be in solitude or you could just be quiet. You're silent. And I'm hearing that your silence got somebody nervous. You being silent is making someone nervous. You being silent is making someone feel unsure. Somebody's unsure about how you feel. Somebody's unsure about where you stand, like where you, like somebody here unsure, somebody here nervous, anxious, and unsure about you and them because you're silent. Somebody here feel like a cycle closed out for good and you're much happier, you at peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Gemini, a Leo, somebody with that in their chart. Libra, you're showing up as the queen of swords. You're standing your ground. I feel like somebody here misses you a lot. Six of cups. Whoever you separate. Yeah, y'all in separation. Whoever you separated from, this person miss you so damn much. Four of wands and a reverse here to the six of cups. Somebody's missing you a lot, Libra. There you are, Libra. Can't make it up. Justice and the upright. You showing up as the justice, the hermit, and the queen of swords. You receiving good karma during this time. Can't make it up. Three of cups. Thank you, spirit. Come through. You're receiving good karma during this time. You're celebrating something, Libra. 
okay? I feel like you intuitively know that you have a lot of blessings on the way. You also showing up as the high priestess. You could be very intuitive, but the high priestess, justice, three of cups, yeah. And I feel like somebody here is watching you celebrate. Somebody here is watching you get good karma. And somebody here is mad about that. Somebody here feels like you have a lot of passion, a lot of fortune, a lot of new beginnings, adventure in your life. And they mad about that because they getting karma. Somebody that's watching you is mad about you getting good karma and living your best fucking life because right now they feel like their life is a mess. Somebody here feel like they owe you an apology. Somebody here feel like their life is not going to get better unless they apologize to you. <laughs> Somebody here feel like their life is going to continue to go to shit unless they apologize to you. <laughs> Somebody here is mad at a king of swords. They feel like a king of swords lied to them about you. And that kept them away from you or made them block you out in some way. This person feel like somebody doing spell work on them. They feel like somebody manipulating their energy. This person could have actually had somebody lie to them and say you was doing spell work on them. So they stayed away from you. But now they see the truth. Now they saying that they in love with you. This person wants to marry you. So somebody here was playing with them. Somebody here lied to them, said you was manipulating them in some way or you did spell work on them. Somebody here wanted to keep this person away from you. And now this person is seeing things clearly and they saying they in love with you and they want to marry you. They want to be with you. This person is ready to take a leap of faith and come towards you. For some of you, this could even be somebody at a distance from you. I feel like this person feel like you're not waiting on them. That's scaring them. They hope that they ain't lose you forever. There's two karmic people that's in a relationship here. This could even be a married karmic couple. The emperor and the empress reverse. They was also behind the scenes working against you and this person coming together and being together. But Libra, you about to have a beautiful fucking life with somebody. We got the king of pentacles here to the ten of cups. And with the high priestess here, I feel like you intuitively know all of this. This is just your confirmation. Yeah, you about to have a beautiful life. And somebody here want to sneak and ruin that for you before it could happen. It's not going to work. Yeah. Somebody here from your past that's facing poverty or that feels abandoned. They feel left out in the cold. Somebody here that's a thief wants to come towards you. It's like somebody here want to come towards you to take your resources, to set you up, to scam you. But I feel like their plan has been exposed and so they feel like they can't do it. This person could be a Pisces or they could have Pisces in their chart. I'm also hearing Virgo and Leo. Somebody here is sad. They disappointed because they can't rob you or they can't get away with, yeah, they can't get away with using you, abusing you, taking your resources or setting you up or blocking your love life in any way. Somebody here can't block your blessings. God will, God will take this motherfucker out before they can do anything to you is what I just heard. The Most High said he will he will take somebody out himself before he allow anybody to do anything to you. Libra, you very fucking protected. Uh, yo, your protection is crazy. Yeah, that's the motherfucking truth, Ace of Swords. You got a two of cups situation here that you're investing in. This person fine as hell. King of Wands, two of cups. Somebody here could be an earth sign or a fire sign. This person fine as hell. Y'all building an empire together, a legacy here. There's a lot of wealth here. And somebody here that's codependent on you or your person is mad. Y'all both could have karmics mad at y'all. But judgment is being called in this situation. This love is here. Something here is bursting back into your life that you thought was over for good is what I just heard. God said he going to take somebody out himself if he had to. Somebody here could have lost their life or they about to just for fucking thinking that they can play with you. I'm hearing somebody may get into a freak accident or this has already happened. And somebody here think they about to do something to you. God is about to shake some shake some shit up. It's going to be some supernatural fucking occurrences. If somebody think they about to fuck with you. Yo, God, God love you, Libra. A lot. Okay? A lot. Your protection is crazy. I'm hearing your protection is fucking crazy. Okay? What's your advice in this situation, Libra? God said, I see what you're planning. Somebody here about to have some supernatural occurrences if they not already. Go ahead, keep planning that shit. I'm telling you, somebody here getting their ass whooped. Will of Fortune in the reverse. Three of Swords. I can't make it up. Somebody here getting their ass whooped. You think you're about to set my baby up or take from my baby or take my baby resources? Oh, yeah, God about to get at somebody crazy. Mm-hmm. That's what I see. All right. What's your advice in this situation, Libra? Spirit.
Spirit, any advice for Libra in this situation? Any advice for Libra in this situation? God says you're going to get everything you want. He's going to make sure of it. God said he's keeping his promises to you. Libra, you got wish fulfillment coming in. I feel like you intuitively know that, though. 11, 11, 4, 1. Some of you could be seeing 11, 11 right now. I feel like there's a Sagittarius or a Taurus that's upset with you. Somebody here could have strong Sagittarius or Taurus in their chart. The Hierophant reverse, the Temperance reverse. There could also be a Pisces that's mad. I'm getting Pisces, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Taurus. Some of y'all got practitioners mad at y'all too because they couldn't fuck you up, okay? Y'all got practitioners mad as hell with y'all. <laughs> Somebody here could be a cult leader as well. This person is very fucking irritated by your power and your and your energy and your protection. Um, I feel like somebody here now want to work together with you. You are making non-believers believers. Libra Spirit said to take your time when it comes to investing in anything new. Take your time. There's somebody here that's abusing their power and authority and trying to plan something. All these motherfuckers going to die. And I, and I hate to say it like that, but they are. We got the tower in the reverse. They need to stop planning this shit because they're going to die. This is not going to work out the way that they want it to. God said he'll kill everybody one by one. And I'm dead serious. Like, I'm not even just saying that to say that. God said he'll kill each and every one of these people because your life is more valuable than these people's lives. It's like you're needed in this world. Something, something about you being needed in this world, God take everybody out. Yeah, you a star. Libra, you a star. God said he'll kill every each one of these motherfuckers. Whoever's abusing their power and authority and, and working together with multiple people here to do something, God gonna kill every last one of these people. These people are about to have major endings in their life. These people work for the devil. He about to take a whole fucking group out. This is a group. This could be an organization. This could be a cult. He about to wipe these motherfuckers clean out. They ain't gonna see the... They, I'm telling you, he about to wipe some motherfuckers out and for some of y'all it may not be that serious but for some of y'all it is okay but for others of you this is just a group of people here teaming up trying to block you and your divine masculine from being together and these people will get sat the fuck down in the worst way it's like god will break somebody's leg while they're trying to walk towards you like it's really giving that this shit is crazy how I'm seeing this. It's like Libra, let's say you right here and somebody here right here trying to do some shit. By the time they get right here, they 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 leg gonna break. Like it's like really some crazy shit like that. These people gonna see this shit too. I'm telling you, because somebody here refuses to give up. This hierophant in the reverse refuses to give up. This person could be a Taurus. They can have strong Taurus in their chart. I'm also hearing Capricorn and Virgo. Whoever this is, their earth sign or they got strong earth in their chart. This is like the mastermind behind some sort of plan here. And uh, yeah, they're going to be sat the fuck down. Yeah, they're going to be crying. They're going to be disappointed. And I'm hearing that their home's going to be flipped upside fucking down. Something about them losing people that they love or they losing their own life. Something here about shit just being flipped up fucking side down. Somebody here is unhappy too because you be no... You be knowing shit. You powerful whoever I'm talking to. You be knowing shit. The moon in the reverse. And somebody here is mad. Somebody here mad because you intuitive. They feel like you be knowing shit. These people are thieves. These people are thieves. These people. Yeah, this cycle is being closed out. This could have already been something that was happening. But consider it closed out. Consider it done. Consider it done. God said you ain't got shit to worry about. The world card. This shit is over. It's clipped. It's done. The world. And these people could think that there's still a chance or there's still something going on here. God said, okay, you keep thinking that. You better be happy that you still got some fucking air in your lungs. Yo, this is... Yo, this message is crazy. Libra, yeah, here you are, baby. You showing up as the Empress, the star. You're about to get married for some of you four wands. Yeah, nine of pentacles. You very independent, stable, successful. Yeah, you about to be with the love of your life. You about to be receiving major offers, opportunities, and blessings. Your advice in this situation is to just kick back, sit back, relax, kick your feet up. Okay? And that's it. Stay hydrated. Keep serving the most high. He definitely working overtime for you okay that's your advice to just chill everything that you want 
is on its way to you. Four of Wands. Every single fucking thing you want is on its way to you. Four of Wands. And some of y'all got a divine union that you're coming into or that you're currently in. Congratulations, Libra. The Emperor and the Empress both here in the upright. Your advice is to just sit back, kick back, put your feet up, relax. That's your advice. God said, I got this shit. Just sit down. Like, literally, it's like that. Just sit down. You don't got to lift a finger. You ain't got to do shit. Just sit down. Let me handle this. Your spirit team and the Most High said, let me handle this shit. Just sit back and relax and just wait for your wishes your, to be granted. Just wait for your wish fulfillment to come in. That's all you got to do is kick back, sit back, relax. Can't make it up. There go that four of wands again, 11-11. Libra, you ain't got to do shit. Your advice is to kick back. Relax, put your fucking feet up. Somebody is in love with you. Somebody's going to invest in you. Somebody here has unconditional love for you, King of Cups, and y'all getting married. Some of y'all are getting married, or you're going to be in a very beautiful commitment, long-term relationship that could lead to marriage for some of you. Okay, but the Four of Wands here, Two of Cups, and the King of Cups keep coming up. Somebody's madly in love with you. I'm in love with you, in love with you. Yep, some of y'all going to be looking for wedding dresses. Congratulations, Libra. I've been getting that message for y'all a lot. All right, let's move on to my Scorps. What's going on, Scorpio? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, Scorpio. We got a jumper, the chariot. Okay, I'm putting it back in the deck. If it's meant to come back out, it will. But some of y'all could be done with a cancer. Let's get a message for Scorpio regarding their current situation. What's going on with Scorpio in their current situation? Eight of Cups in the reverse. I feel like somebody here trying to spin the block. Okay, somebody from your past is trying to return, trying to come back around. This person feel like you the one that got away. Um, they feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you. They want an equal give and take partnership with you. They're gonna. They saying that they want to work hard to have this with you. This person could be a Taurus, a Leo. Strong Leo here. Somebody here definitely got strong Leo in their chart. But Scorpio, this person want to invest in you. They feel like you single. They feel like you love them too. Whoever this is, they feel like you have strong feelings for them. Or they're at least hoping that you still do. I feel like you're very intuitive, Scorpio. You know that this person wants you. Yeah, you know the truth about this person and their feelings. You know that they want to talk to you. You know that they want to be with you. But I feel like this is somebody here that you feel is toxic and you you feel like it's best for you to stay away from this person. Some of y'all is definitely a Taurus or a Capricorn, a Leo that you could feel is toxic or they could have that in their chart. But I feel like you protecting yourself from this person. Some of y'all feel like this person sleep around as well. So you not sleeping with them. You feel like it's not safe to sleep with them or be intimate with them because you feel like they sleep with somebody else. They're sleeping around. And they are. Three of Cups in the reverse here to the Queen of Wands in reverse. They are. But I also feel like for some of you, there's a third party outside of you guys that's very jealous of how this person feels about you. They're jealous that this person wants to come back towards you and be with you. And they could be trying to block this because you and this person will have a very abundant life together. Somebody here could be a Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo. Somebody here could also be an Aquarius, a uh, Gemini, or a Libra. There's a karmic masculine and a karmic feminine that's against you having an equal give and take partnership with somebody. These karmics are behind the scenes working really hard to block and stop you from having a very successful life with somebody. But Spirit says you have unfinished business with somebody what is this or these karmics just feel like you have unfinished business with them and you don't yeah somebody from your past is depressed they feel abandoned they feel left out in the cold this person is experiencing a lot of karma right now they're under heavy judgment this person could also be having financial issues this person is going through a lot scorpio they feel like you still care about them they feel like you very loving this is somebody that's going to try to come back in and emotionally manipulate you. This person needs resources. They need help with their finances. Okay, this could be somebody that y'all at a distance from. For some of y'all, y'all could be traveling or you could have already traveled. And this person is really depressed because you know we're near them. And I feel like God purposely made it that way so that this person could have no access to you. Yes, yeah, Scorpio, here you are showing up as the death card and the queen of cups. I feel like you have an awakening right now. 
you could be going through an awakening. You, you're going through a transformation. You're ascending. And this person is literally missing you. Yeah, you're showing up as the Empress, Scorpio. This person wants you to wait for them till they get their shit together. But you're not. They could be a fellow water sign like you. This person could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. They could be a fellow Scorpio like you, a Cancer, Pisces, a Leo, a Capricorn. Whoever the fuck this is, is a fuck no. Spirit don't want you with this person. I feel like they're trying to take a leap of faith and come towards you. This person is trying to keep their options open and replace you because they know that things are fully over between you two. They know that something here is completely over between you two. Scorpio, whoever this is, this person was the catalyst to your growth. I'm hearing that this person was the catalyst to your growth. They were the catalyst to your healing. So this was like a karmic partner of yours that really set off your healing. Now you're going through a transformation. You're going through awakening. And the universe is protecting you from this person. So much so that some of you could even be going a distance or you have went a distance already. What's your advice in this situation, Scorpio? Spirit, what advice do you have for Scorpio in this situation? What advice do you have for Scorpio in this situation? Continue to heal. Okay, you are on a spiritual self-love journey is what I just heard. All right, this person is going to try to come in and lower your vibration by arguing with you. So this person may be trying to call you or text you and argue with you, overwhelm you, stress you out. Some of y'all got uh, toxic ass family members as well that could be arguing and fighting. It's like a lot of shit going on around you that's overwhelming you. Spirit said, don't make these people problems your problems. You understand what I'm saying? Don't make these people's problems your problems. If these motherfuckers is acting like animals around you, just get away from them and focus on yourself. Stop soaking up other people's energy. Some of y'all are empaths and you literally a sponge. It's like you soaking up other people's energy. You're disappointed. You're sad. You're crying because people that you love are fighting each other. People that you love are not getting along. They acting like animals. I also feel like you overwhelmed and sad because this person that I just talked about is trying to argue with you because you're healing. Like somebody here sees that you're healing, that you're growing, and they hate this. They hate it. Like they literally hate it. Somebody here hates the fact that you're healing, that you're growing. They hate this shit. So they doing everything. Yeah, they hate that you left they sorry asses. Somebody here hate that you left them. They hate that you growing, that you healing, you're evolving. This person is missing you. They could be looking at a lot of pictures of you, reminiscing you. Your advice is to keep moving forward, okay? Because you're going to have a real emperor that come in. You're going to have a real divine counterpart that comes in. Ace of Pentacles to the Emperor. I love that for you, Scorpio. Congratulations in advance. You're going to have a real Emperor, a real divine counterpart that's going to come in and love you. This person's going to love you. Yeah, this person is very attracted to you. There's going to be a lot of passion here, a lot of chemistry. You got a practitioner that's working on you, though. Some of y'all got somebody doing heavy spell work on y'all. It's heavy. I ain't even going to lie. I ain't even going to front. Y'all know I be telling y'all when shit is weak or not. Whatever somebody here is doing is heavy. I'm getting that there's heavy spell work. But it's okay because you're going to be okay. You're still going to have an emperor. Like, you, you're going to be fine, pretty much. Like, you're going to be fine, but you could be feeling the effects of this. You could be feeling really sad. It's like you overwhelmed. Somebody here wants you to be sad 24-7. Somebody here wants you to be up in your head all day, crying before you sleep, crying when you wake up. Like somebody here just wants you to be overwhelmed and sad. But I feel like you know this and you can know where this energy is coming from. Some of you are moving forward. And I feel like somebody here really trying to block your path. They trying to fight you. They trying to stop you. Yeah, everything I'm saying is the truth. Ace of Swords. Some of y'all could also be feeling like your finances is being attacked in some way. Be Keep up with your belongings, okay? You need to keep up with your belongings because I feel like somebody here wants you to lose shit. It's like somebody here is sending that kind of energy to you where they just want you to lose shit. 
Somebody here has a lot of headaches as well. Or oh, somebody working on y'all a lot. For some of y'all, somebody here working on you a lot. Somebody here wants you to have headaches. They want you to be drained. They want you to be unhappy. They want you to be tired. They want you to be crying all the time. They want you to have money issues. Somebody here wants you to lose your job. Somebody here wants your finances to be completely swiped out. Like somebody here doing the fucking most, yo. Like this shit is... Why, like, somebody here really coming for y'all hard. Scorpio, trust me, I understand, okay? But you can overcome this. Stay prayed up. Cleanse your space. That's your advice. Stay prayed up. Stay connected to the most high. Cleanse your space. Be grateful. Have an open heart. And even though you're going through all of this, still show up as someone that's very loving, okay? And you're going to be fine. That's my advice. That's your advice. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Somebody here just a fucking asshole. That's that's what this is. Somebody here's a fucking asshole. But you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Whoever this is, this shit going to take them out. I hate to say it like that, but I strongly feel like whoever's working on you this hard, oh yeah, this shit going to take them out. At the end of this, you still going to have, you still going to get everything you want. And this person is going to be gone. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's what I see. I promise y'all that's what I see. All right, let's move on to my Sagis. Spirit, give me a message for Sagittarius regarding their current situation. What's going on with Sag and their current situation? Give me some messages for Sagittarius regarding their current situation. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, Sag, you got a jumper. The five of wands came out for y'all, too. All right, I'm going to put that back in. If it come back out, it's meant to. But for some of y'all, there could be some conflict, some chaos, some arguing, some tension here between you and somebody. All right. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. They could be fighting over money, okay? Something about some money here. Somebody here may owe somebody as well is what I'm hearing. Let's see what's going on. Sagittarius, Five of Pentacles. I feel like if somebody owes somebody, they ain't got the money to fucking pay them. Why is this making me think of Tiara Marie and 50 Cent? I swear I just thought about them. Tiara Maria Sag, <laughs> she ain't got that money, 50. 50, leave her alone. She ain't got that money, okay? I channeled them real quick just now. That As soon as I said that shit, I heard Tiara Marie and 50. <laughs> Tiara Marie owed 50 and he coming for her head. And she ain't got that money. And 50, you know she don't got that money. He know Tiara ain't got that fucking money. He know that shit. Um, all right, let me see, y'all. Five of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the Devil, the Queen of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Ten of Cups reversed. Some of y'all could be going through a situation like that, too. I'm also hearing something about backed up child support. So, Sagittarius, some of y'all could be trying to get some child support from somebody. I feel like this person really don't got that shit. I feel like at one point, they was ducking and dodging you when they had it. They just didn't want to give it to you. They didn't want to pay. They was being an asshole. They was being stubborn. They didn't want to take care of their responsibilities. They was trying to... They was trying to hurt you and spite you. But I feel like it's to the point now where this person really don't fucking have it. Like, they really don't have it. Somebody here could be um in poverty, facing poverty. Somebody here could have actually lost their job. Like, they really don't have it now. And that's what the fuck they get. Because it's like, this person was playing with y'all. And so spirits said, oh, okay, you don't want to take care of your responsibilities. You're going to play. All right, so now you're really not going to have it. You want to act like you don't have it? Now you're really not going to have it. This person lost their job for some of y'all. They really don't have it now. I feel like somebody here still owe you, though. They still owe you. They still got to give to you. I also feel like somebody here that you're setting boundaries with that you could have left behind is coming back towards you to give you something. But no, it's an injustice. And somebody here owes you. Somebody here owe y'all. I strongly feel that shit. Somebody here owe y'all or you owe them. Take it as it resonates. Somebody here could have a court situation. Somebody here could be filing an order of protection against somebody. Oh, a child. A king of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody here could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Some There could be an earth sign that stole from you that's going to have to pay you back. This person mad as hell that they're going to have to pay you back. I'm telling you, this shit is all about money. Somebody here mad as hell that they got to pay you back. They mad. They don't want you to have this shit. They don't want to give you nothing. But they have to. It's a court order. 
It's a court order. For some of y'all, this is legal. It's a court order. Yeah, somebody here gotta pay you. And they gotta pay you now. Like, it's something here about this shit. You know how somebody here, like, got a payment plan? I It's, it's giving me now. Like, I don't know. It's an urgency. Like, or we gonna take your assets. We gonna take your car. We gonna take your home. We gonna garnish your, your checks. We gonna freeze your bank accounts. Like, it's something here where something here has to be given to you now. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Somebody here could have strong Libra placement. Somebody here could have a Libra rising. You know, you rule justice with that Libra energy. This is urgent. Like, somebody here got to give you something now. Oh, shit. For some of y'all, you got karmic family that are very toxic. Somebody here could be a Capricorn. Yeah, strong Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, strong Earth. Toxic as fuck. Somebody here in your family is two-faced. And I feel like you know that. You can't trust them. You trying to move forward towards your wish fulfillment and your happiness. Spirit is telling you to move in silence. So that's part of your advice to move in silence during this time. I also feel like there's a king of cups in the reverse that's obsessed with you. This could be somebody that you have children with. This person could be an earth sign or a water sign. But this is somebody that's a thief. Somebody want to steal from you. Somebody want to take from you. Somebody want to set you up in some way. And it's a fuck no, it's not happening. This is the motherfucker that owe you. Or this is the motherfucker that was fucking up. They wasn't taking care of their child. They wasn't taking care of their responsibilities. And now they mad because they watching you. And they see that you happy. They talking shit. They spreading rumors about you. They mad because you moving forward in your life. You healing. You progressing. And you don't need a dime from this motherfucker. I'm seeing here that God is putting you in a position where you don't actually need a dime from them. But you're still going to get it. Because it's justice. You're still going to get it. You're not hurting for shit. Okay, God will always provide. Make sure that you say that, Sagittarius, and you actually believe that because that's the truth. Trust me, I'm, I, I am a walking testimony of that. God will always provide. Talk to him, connect with him deeply. God will always provide. And I feel like God is providing for you. You're showing up as someone that's very stable, someone that's healing, someone that's very secure, someone that's loving themselves. And this motherfucker here... That don't want to take care of their responsibilities or want to steal from you or set you up or just treat you nasty. Oh, this motherfucker is getting the karma of a lifetime. Yeah, you walked away from this person. Now they need you. Now they codependent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sagittarius, here you are, the, the temperance. For some of you, you're an earth angel. But you very balanced. You very calm. You very stable. I feel like you gave this person. You've been very kind to this person. You've been giving this person Oh, Sagittarius, you've been way too nice. I feel, uh, Yeah, I got chills all over my body as I said that. God said, yeah, you've been way too nice. You've been way too nice. You've been way too patient. You've been way too kind with this person. And the most high about to shake some shit up in this person's life. Somebody here could be an Aries for some of y'all. I'm getting Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Leo, Aquarius. I feel like there's a fire sign that you care about, that you're in love with. This person is about to appear into your life. They hoping that you don't reject them. They feel like you two have unfinished business. This could be your twin flame for some of you is what I just heard. This person could be at a distance from you, but they about to come travel, come towards you. They're leaving a karmic woman to invest in you. All right. So I feel like your counterpart, your divine masculine is leaving a karmic and they coming towards you you two have unfinished business you two have unfinished business this person is coming back around to you and they're leaving a karmic behind and you getting your fucking money from whoever that is that i keep picking up on what's your advice in this situation your advice is to spend your money wisely when you get it make it grow multiply it okay you're going to need um, a new bank account or something like that. Some of y'all going to be working with some sort of investors is what I'm hearing. You could be make, you could be um, investing in yourself. You could be starting a business for some of y'all. What's your advice in this situation? Spare, what advice do you have for Sagittarius? Your advice is to choose peace, choose happiness. 
do everything that you've been doing, okay? Remain grounded, remain balanced, which I feel like you are because you showed up as the temperance and the upright. So remain grounded, remain balanced, continue to choose happiness. This king of swords in the reverse is watching you. They see that you happy and they're pissed off. Your happiness, you being calm, this inner peace that you have, this self-control that you have is pissing this king of swords, king of pentacles in the reverse off. Somebody here is a fucking terror. They're a monster. They're a nightmare. This person's a narcissist. They're a piece of shit. And this person is mad because you have inner peace. They're mad because you have inner peace. They're mad because you're happy. They're mad because you are a healer or you have healed. But I'm getting here that some of y'all are, are healers. You're very powerful. You're very magical. You know how to calm yourself. You are very balanced. You very calm and secure within yourself. You can't be fucked with. It's like whoever this King of Swords in the reverse is, King of Pentacles in the reverse is, this person wanted to deliberately upset you and fuck with you. And you just, you giving this person a run for their money because you have so much self-control and you've mastered yourself to a point where you're balanced, you're calm, you're happy, you're at peace. This could be men fucking with you. I'm getting at there that you could be a woman and there's men that are deliberately fucking with you. They're constantly fucking with you and nothing that they're doing is working and they're getting pissed off here. Somebody's very fucking immature. Somebody here could be an Aquarius for sure. I'm getting strong Aquarius. Somebody here could also be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Somebody here could have strong Earth or Aquarius in their chart. But I'm getting here that there's two men here specifically that are mad. And these motherfuckers is going to lose a lot if they haven't already. Somebody here is going to be penny fucking pinching because they, they came for you because they fucked with you. Somebody here about to be wiped clean out. Yeah, that's their karma. To be penny fucking pitching. To be eating oodles and fucking noodles. Not because they like the taste of it, but because that's all they can afford. Somebody here is going to be on a fucking pantry line. Somebody here is going to actually be needing assistance. They're going to be needing food. Somebody here is going to be on a pantry line. Yeah, somebody here is facing poverty for fucking with you for coming for you. Will of Fortune and Reverse to the Five of Pentacles. That's the judgment. Archangel Gabriel is coming down and blowing that horn. Yeah, somebody here was doing magic on you. You had men attacking you, or spiritually attacking you in some way, just fucking with you constantly. These motherfuckers is losing everything. I can't make it up. They losing every fucking thing. They losing money by the second. It's something here about somebody being drained or depleted like this. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse to the Five of Pentacles. Oh, they shouldn't have came for you. These motherfuckers ain't going to have a dime. They ain't going to have a penny to rub together. Uh, Sagittarius, your advice in this situation is just to continue to do you, boo. Continue to do you. Same shit I told Libra. Kick your fucking feet up. Relax. Okay? Same shit I told Libra. Kick back. Relax. Kick your feet up. You so strong. You so powerful. You so courageous. You so bold. You so wise. Strength card in the hermit. You can have Virgo or Leo placements for some of you. But you the, you the shit, Sag. Okay? And you so unfuckwittable. Like, you're unfuckwittable is what I'm hearing. And somebody here is mad because they ain't got no money. Somebody here is also mad because they can't take some money from you. They wanted to take money from you. And somebody here mad because they got to pay you. Somebody owe you. They mad. Let them stay mad. Tell them, bitch better have my money. Yeah, somebody here heartbroken about this money shit. They heartbroken that they losing money. They heartbroken that they could owe you. Somebody here heartbroken that they owe you money. Somebody here heartbroken that they losing money. Somebody here heartbroken that they can't fuck with your money. Like somebody here just heartbroken. You're very stable and they're not and they're heartbroken about this. They're mad. Hmm. Let's move on. Yeah, somebody owe you. They heartbroken because they got to give you some shit. Three of swords to the six of pentacles. Somebody here heartbroken because they got to give you some shit. Yeah, they're mad about this. Somebody owe you. They heartbroken that they owe you. They heartbroken that they got to give something to you. I'm telling you, somebody here mad as fuck. Oh, well, let them stay mad. Bitch better have my money. This person could be a Capricorn. They could have strong Capricorn in their chart. This person's the fucking devil himself. Bitch better have my money. Tell that motherfucker you want that shit and you want it now. Okay? Tell me, hand my shit over in cash. Thank you. 
And make sure you count that shit before you let this motherfucker walk away in one piece. Somebody here been trying to do spell work on y'all to avoid you from getting this, to avoid them from having to pay you and shit like that. Ain't none of that shit working. Because this person want to hold on to that shit. This person is greedy. They ain't going to have a fucking dollar to their name. After this person gives you their shit, God is going to cut this person down. They ain't going to have shit. God going to make sure that this person has what they need in order to give it to you. But after this person actually gives you what they supposed to give you, they ain't going to have shit after that. God going to cut this motherfucker down. Whatever money they have left, God is going to swipe them clean of it. And that's going to be their karma, to have a absolutely nothing. This person going to be digging in fucking garbage cans for meals. This person is going to be picking the trash to see if anybody threw away leftovers. Let's move on to my Capricorns. Spirit, tell us about Capricorn and their current situation. Tell us about Capricorn and their current situation, please and thank you. Give me two more shuffles for uh, Capricorn and their current situation. What's going on with Capricorn and their current situation? Somebody trying to come back around and check your temperature. Okay. Somebody that likes to play a lot of fucking games and look you dead in the fucking eyes and lie to you is coming back around. Mm-hmm. This motherfucker. Y'all know the one. The one that you've caught in lies numerous times. The one that look you dead in your fucking eyes with a straight face and lie to you. This is a pathological liar that I'm looking at. Okay. Whoever this pathological liar is, this person want to spin the block. They want to come back around. Eight of cups in the reverse. could be a Taurus or a fire sign. Or somebody here could have strong Taurus or fire in their chart. Give me something on this Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody that y'all blocked or y'all not communicating with. You really don't have much to say to this person. I feel like they trigger you, they upset you. Because they be playing in your fucking face. And I feel like you've caught this person numerous times in lies. I feel like this is somebody that's now depressed and missing you. They're now sad. It's a Taurus, a fire sign, or a Virgo for some of y'all. But this person is now missing you, Capricorn. They could have chose a third party over you. Capricorn, here you are, showing up in the upright, the devil. Clarify the devil. Yeah. It's a it's a fellow earth sign. It's a I kept getting Taurus, but we have Virgo here, and it could be another Capricorn like you. This person is scared about their finances. They're scared about their stability. This person has no stability. This is somebody that's very money hungry as well. This is somebody that want to be with you for resources. This is somebody that want to be with you because you winning right now, and they're not. And this is somebody that needs some sort of help. It's like this person want to be in a relationship with you. They want to come back around and tell you that they want to give things another chance. They want to be with you. Yeah, this person is saying that they want to move forward and be with you. The Capricorn, I feel like this person already broke your heart a lot. And I just feel like them coming back around to give you whatever it is that they're trying to give you. You may not be feeling this. You could be moving on with the chariot. Some of you could have cancer in your chart, don't have to. But I feel like you're moving on from this person. Yeah, you keeping your options open. Capricorn, I'm getting here that you're keeping your options open. You have a lot of money. You're very stable. Some of you got a good fucking job or your business is just booming. Something about you being very financially secure, very stable here. And this person knows this. And so they feel like it would be smart to be in a relationship with you. It'll be smart to be in a relationship with you. It'll be smart to marry you because you the wealthy man. Okay. You the rich man. <laughs> Even if you're a woman, you showing up as a rich man, okay? Like, you are tapped into your feminine and masculine energy. You showing up as somebody that is wealthy. Or this person is just looking at you like a fucking lick right now. You looking like a lick. You looking like wealth. You looking like money. You looking like you could fucking help them. That's what you looking like. And so this person want to come back around to be with you. For that reason, I don't have no love here. And I'm just being honest. 
I ain't got a single fucking cup here. I ain't got no emotions coming from this person. This person is watching you and they count in your fucking pockets. This person all up in your business when it comes to your money. And that's what they coming back for. Ain't no love here. Ain't no love here. Oh, the only cups we got is the three of cups in the reverse third party energy. So this is a cheater. Or this is somebody that has cheated on you. They lied to you in your face about this shit and you done caught up. You caught them, okay? Red-handed. And then the other cups that we got is the eight of cups reverse, meaning that this person want to come back around. And then we got the seven of cups here, but I feel like the seven of cups is you keeping your options open. Yeah, this person's a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. And they're getting karma right now. They're under heavy judgment and they're depressed, like I said. Hermit in a reverse, in a judgment reverse, okay? This person is depressed. They sad and they're getting karma. And they mad because they feel like the tables have turned in some way. This is somebody that broke your heart. And I feel like now they're heartbroken. And what they're really heartbroken about is their stability. It has nothing to do with feelings. It's their stability. It's not, oh, I'm heartbroken because I love you, Cap. It's I'm heartbroken because I ain't got no fucking money. I'm heartbroken because I'm nervous about my future and my stability and my security. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to come back towards you, Cap, hoping that you're still a dummy for me because I need fucking help right now. Capricorn, don't, don't fuck with this person. Don't let this person play with you. Somebody here could have strong Leo in their chart or Earth. Yeah, Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It could be a fellow Capricorn like you, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Leo. Somebody with that highly aspect in their chart. I'm telling you, I keep seeing the Ten of Pentacles. This person counting your fucking pockets, and that's why they want to spin the block. I can't make it up. That shit keep coming out. Spirit said that's the message for real. This person wants your money. They watching that shit. They want your money. This person said, oh, you got money. I'm coming back. This person said, you got some fucking bunny and they coming back and they coming back now. They can come back all they want, Capricorn. Your advice is to reject this person. I told you, everything I'm saying is the truth. Ace of Swords. This shit keep coming out. Like, Spirit just want to keep telling me so I could keep telling you. Okay? Because something here about me having to repeat myself. Capricorn, you really got to understand this. Let this process, please register this fully. Like, fully understand what it is that I'm telling y'all. Don't let this motherfucker get over on you. Don't let this person come swindle you and talk you out of your savings and out of your drawers. This is somebody that's studying y'all. They watching y'all. This person is watching you a lot. I mean, they watching you a lot. They watching you a lot. They all in your fucking business. And they seeing you moving forward with your life. And they mad. They want you to wait on them. This is somebody that wants you to wait on them because they feel like y'all about to be celebrating because they feel like if you give them another chance, then bitch, they just hit the jackpot. <laughs> like, that's how somebody looking at y'all. Oh, hell no. Spirit, what advice do you have for Capricorn in this situation? Okay. Three of, three of Pentacles. What, why is the Three of Pentacles here? Seven of Wands in the reverse. Eight of Pentacles. So they working together with other people to see how they could get with you. Again, because of this fucking money. I cannot make it up. I can't make it up. They working together with other people to see how they can get to you because of this money. But you having all of this money or you being very wealthy, you being very stable is your justice. It's your karmic justice. You can have Libra in your chart for some of you, but it's your karmic justice for you to be in this position, for you to have this. Your finances is secure. Your happiness is, is not going anywhere. Okay, you happy, you stable, you secure. Everything is secured. I'm hearing that everything is secured. Your stability, your happiness, everything is secured. Okay? I feel like this person is fucking foolish. They feel foolish. They feel like a damn fool. This person is a Taurus. I'm getting Taurus, Aquarius, and Gemini energy here. That could be uh, strong placements in their chart. But this person feels like a fucking fool right now because they know that the cycle is closed out for good. And they're mad because this person want to talk to you. This person about to blow your fucking phone up for some of you. They want to come visit you. They want to come to your house. Yeah, everything I'm saying is the truth. They go that ace of swords again. It's a no. Spirit said it's a no. Leave this motherfucker out in the cold. That's their karma. Will of fortune in the reverse to the five of pentacles. Their karma and your justice is for this motherfucker to be in poverty, for them to be in lack, for
for them to feel abandoned, to them, for them to feel left out in the cold. They deserve this. Spirit said they deserve this. Don't look back. Don't let this motherfucker come in, use you, or swindle you in any way. It's a fuck no. Spirit said it's a no. It's a hell to the no. Yeah, Capricorn, you showing up as the queen of pentacles, and this person showing up as the king of pentacles in reverse. For some of y'all, somebody here is scared that they going to jail too. I know that's not going to resonate with all of y'all, but for some of y'all, somebody here is scared that they going to go to jail. This person could have been trying to get money illegally in an illegal way, and that shit is catching up to them. Hell to the no. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. <laughs> To the no, 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 hell to the no. <laughs> All right, let's move on to my Aquarius. What's up, Aqua? Sun, moon, Venus, rising. What's going on, Aquarius? Spirit, give me some messages regarding Aquarius and their current situation. Give me some messages for Aquarius and their current situation, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Last shuffle, give me some messages for Aquarius regarding their current situation. Hell to no. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, Aquarius, let's see. Five of Wands. Yo, who? A couple of people got the Five of Wands as the first card out. Oh, Lord. I want to say it could have been Cancer or Leo. I feel like Leo had the Five of Wands as the first card out. And Scorpio, if I'm not mistaken. So some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio, or you could have that highly aspect in your chart, or somebody that you're dealing with does. But we got the five of wands here. The emperor in the reverse. Somebody here's a fucking asshole. I just heard some shit, but I don't want to say that. I, I wouldn't wish that on nobody. Somebody here. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hell no. Hell to the no. <laughs> Same thing I told Capricorn. Hell to the no. Mm -mm. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Wait, hold on. Let me clarify this shit. Somebody here could be passing away. My condolences. What's the five of wands here? Give me something on the five of wands. Some of y'all got a toxic baby daddy. <laughs> Every girl has his day is what I just heard. <laughs> Somebody here fighting over money. It's always about some fucking money. Yep, Leo. Told you. I told y'all. Some of y'all dealing with a Scorpio or a Leo. Because I feel like Scorpio and Leo had the five of wands energy too. Somebody here definitely a Leo. Or they got strong Leo in their chart. Somebody here is mad. Somebody here doing spell work on y'all. Aquarius, stay prayed up. I feel like you ain't got shit to worry about, but just still stay prayed up. It's always good to pray. It's always good to be connected to source, right? To spirit, to the most high. I'm not sure what your beliefs are, but I feel like I need to tell y'all to stay prayed up. <clears throat> but also, I feel like ain't shit gonna happen to you, okay? Let's make that very fucking clear. And whoever this emperor in the reverse is, they, they gonna get what's coming to them. I feel like they already getting karma. This is somebody that's fighting and arguing over money. This is somebody that's drained. They're tired. They're exhausted. Somebody here, um, health could be suffering as well or is about to. This person is going to have some sort of major illness. They could be getting a bad report on their health, a horrible diagnosis. I just heard for some of you, somebody here is going to be diagnosed with cancer. It's very sad. But this is somebody that likes to do spell work. This is somebody that likes to play with people and their energy. This is somebody that likes to manipulate people and their energy. So, you know what? It is what it is, right? Aquarius, I feel like you don't bother no fucking body. You could have Virgo in your chart for some of you. But you're showing up as the hermit. Somebody that don't bother nobody. Which is why this karma, this judgment is going to be so extreme for whoever this motherfucker is. 
And for some of you, it could even be your child's father. Or this could be somebody that's working for your child's father. Or just a man that you used to deal with. This is coming from a masculine energy that you used to deal with in the past. So figure it out who that is for y'all. But for some of y'all, it's your actual child's father. I keep getting that. But this is somebody here that wants to steal your happiness. They want to steal your happiness. They want to create some sort of emotional discomfort and imbalance for you. This person is fucking with your energy. They want you to be all over the place. They want you to wake up tired, drained, exhausted, feeling low energy, feeling like you don't want to do shit. You don't want to wash your ass. You don't want to clean your home. You don't want to do anything to take care of yourself. Aquarius, somebody here wants you to give up on yourself. Somebody here wants you to be so down and out emotionally that you just stop fucking taking care of yourself. And I feel like that's not you. I feel like you take very good care of yourself, which is why this is why they want it to stop. Somebody here wants your vibration to be very low, but that shit is not working. And even if you've been feeling the effects of this, like maybe you've been feeling like your energy a little off, it's not working the way they want it to. Like somebody here wants you to completely stop taking care of yourself. Stop getting your feet, your nails done, your hair done. Stop brushing your teeth. Stop washing your ass. Stop doing everything. Like any and everything that you do to keep yourself up, somebody here wants you to stop it. Somebody here just wants you to give up on yourself. Somebody here wants you to be so drained, so exhausted, so tired, so out of it emotionally that you just say, fuck taking care of you, fuck everything, fuck life. And it's not working like that. They mad. They mad. Whoever this is, they're mad. This person is a fucking con artist. I feel like for some of you, this person is a thief. I'm hearing somebody's a scammer. That shit gonna catch up to them. They keep fucking with you. A lot of shit that they've done in the past is gonna catch up to them. This person could be facing legal issues right now. But this is somebody that's fucking heartless. They're cold. And I'm getting a child support situation for some of y'all too. This person could owe you child support. They could be a Scorpio. Somebody here could be owing y'all something. For some of y'all, it's child support. For others of y'all... It's just something here that they owe you for whatever reason. There could be some sort of lawsuit. This person could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, a Sagittarius, a Libra, or a Scorpio. A Leo. I said Leo, right? Yeah, strong Leo. I got Aries. I got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, strong Virgo. Strong Virgo, strong Leo, strong Sag, strong Libra, strong Scorpio. And Gemini. But whoever this fucker is, <laughs> they they gonna get what's coming to them. Mm -hmm. They gonna get what's coming to them, cause you're a very loving person, Aquarius. You very loving. I mean, you got a big heart. I feel like you help. You help people. You're a very loving person. Some of y'all could have strong water in your chart: Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could also have Sagittarius or Leo placements or Libra. But you just are very loving. Whoever I'm talking to, I mean, you would give the shirt off of your back. Like, you just a good fucking person. Whoever I just picked up on, whoever I'm picking up on, whoever I'm channeling right now, Aquarius, you a good fucking person, man. A good woman. You really are. And I feel like somebody here tries to play you. Uh -huh. But understand this, they only set up a booby trap for themselves. Like somebody here played themselves in an attempt to play you. I feel like they realizing that now. Somebody here also, there's a masculine here, a fucking clown, a fucking fool. Somebody that's intimidated by you and your strength and your happiness. Somebody here is also jealous of your stability, jealous of your home, jealous of where you live at, jealous of the fact that you're able to take care of yourself. Somebody here is mad because you can take care of yourself. Somebody here wanted you to be codependent on them. Somebody here wanted you to be needy, but you're not needy. You take, you take great care of yourself. Somebody here wants you to stop working, stop making money, stop being able to take care of yourself and provide for yourself and your children if you have children. Like, fuck this motherfucker, okay? That's how I feel. Um, None of this shit is working, okay? This person worked together with a karmic woman. So this is a, this is a karmic duo, okay? Could be up to three people or more for some of y'all as well. But there's an empress in the reverse here and an emperor in the reverse that was doing this together. 
working in cahoots, doing this shit together. Somebody here could have also, yeah, somebody's a Scorpio. For some of y'all, somebody definitely a fucking Scorpio. I'm getting strong fucking Scorpio. I feel like you know exactly who's doing what, where this shit coming from. You showing up as a fucking high priestess. You showing up as a leader, a boss, somebody that's very intuitive. Some of y'all could have psychic gifts and abilities. Shit, some of y'all could even be readers like me. What's up? But I'm telling you, you intuitively know where this shit is coming from, who's doing it, who the main culprits are. You might not know everybody that's behind the scenes that's involved, but damn it, you know the main ones. Somebody here's a fucking liar. Somebody here's about to contact you, reach out to you, don't believe shit they say. This is somebody that's bitter and sad and disappointed that their work is backfiring, it's not working. Okay, this is somebody that y'all need to walk away from. So somebody from your past is about to contact you and your intuition is going to tell you right away this motherfucker ain't shit. Some of y'all ain't even going to answer your phone. Good. Don't. Don't answer your phone. I know I wouldn't. I wouldn't even answer it. I wouldn't answer. Because that's an energy exchange too. Tell all these people that they could go to hell with gasoline drawers on. Um... Something about court or a court date or something like that. If you got a legal situation or you going to court, you won. Okay, you won. Especially if this is against a past lover or, or your child's father, you won. The cycle's closed out. Or you have won. And they still bitter and they seeking revenge with they stupid asses. This person going to fucking hurt themselves even more by coming for you. Because I promise you, each and every time they come for you, they fail. And it's going to continue to be like that. <laughs> You either winning a court case against this person or you have already won for some of you and they bitter about you winning. Told you it's a Scorpio. This motherfucker here. Or well, they got strong Scorpio in their chart, but this is a vengeful, spiteful bitch. Okay? This confirmation. Y'all heard that? <laughs> this is a vengeful. As soon as I said they're a vengeful, spiteful bitch, it said, y'all heard that? That that honk? Dun, dun. <laughs> Come for fucking Mason, okay? A vengeful, spiteful bitch. A man child, okay? Fuck that motherfucker. Okay? I feel like you don't give a fuck about them, which is fine. <laughs> this person's gonna be mad because you're about to be in a loving connection. Congratulations. This person is also mad because you have passion in your life you have passion you have romance you have intimacy some of y'all gonna be going on dates looking real sexy and shit looking real beautiful somebody here could be uh changing the color of your of their hair somebody here may be wanting to go lighter something about somebody here wanting to go lighter with their hair you should do it you're gonna look absolutely beautiful and your man gonna think you look great too he's gonna be loving up all on you yeah, some of y'all going to be going out more and, and getting dressed up, getting dolled up and going out more. And whoever this spiteful motherfucker is from your past that keep trying to come for you, this person is just hanging themselves. They just hanging themselves. I'm hearing that song by Jay-Z. He say... I keep my enemies close. I give them enough rope. They put themselves in the air. I just kick away the chair. Dig a hole. That's the name of the song. I'm like, what the fuck is the name of the song? Yeah, this person is digging their own grave. They digging a hole for themselves. That's what I said. I said that they was um, setting up a booby trap for you, but they the only ones falling in that motherfucker. They digging a hole, they burying themselves. Dig a hole, bury yourself. Dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. Dig a hole, motherfucker. <laughs> bury yourself. Yeah, listen to Dig a Hole by Hove by Jay-Z. Somebody could be from Brooklyn, okay? But Dig a Hole by Jay-Z. That's the song I'm channeling. That was on the um, Kingdom Come album. Yeah, the red and black on the front. Yeah, Kingdom Come album. I'm seeing it in my mind's eye. Yeah, Dig a Hole by Jay-Z. Kingdom Come. That's the Kingdom Come album. And it's called Dig a Hole by Jay-Z. And there's a verse where he says, 
I got chills all over my body. There's a verse where he says, I keep my enemies close. I give them enough rope. They put themselves in the air. I just kick away the chair. Yeah. So you giving this person enough rope to hang themselves. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're going to put themselves in the air. They're going to hang themselves. And you just going to do the honors. You just going to kick the chair. You just going to do the honors by kicking the chair. Let this motherfucker take himself out. Whoever that person is that I kept picking up on, let this motherfucker take himself out. And that's your advice. <laughs> that's your advice. Spirit said that's your advice. I don't need to pull a separate spread for your advice. That's your advice. Your advice is to continue to um, cleanse your space, stay grounded, meditate, stay hydrated, drink a lot of water, um, exercise and meditation. Yoga would be helpful to balance out your energy. Praying, of course, that's number one, numero uno. And uh, yeah, just stay focused on yourself and keep yourself up. I feel like don't get lazy. All right. Don't get lazy, baby. Everything that you normally do as far as your self-care routine, keep doing that shit. All right. Cause somebody here just wants you to be a fucking slob. Like I'm really getting that somebody wants y'all to be a slob. And that's just not who you are. I feel like you like to keep your home clean. You like to keep your body clean. You like to just keep your shit together. Okay? So keep keeping your shit together. That's your advice as well. All right. Let's, la let's move on to Pisces. Last but not least. Okay? What's going on, Pisces? Let's see. Your current situation. Spirit, give me some messages for the zodiac sign of Pisces. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, and north node. What's going on with Pisces and their current situation? Seeing the five of wands, conflict. So there could be some sort of conflict or tension surrounding y'all. Or maybe somebody wants to fight with y'all or some shit like that. Y'all know what I'm going to say. Don't entertain it. Block these motherfuckers out. Let's see what's going on. King of Cups. Some of y'all could be connected to a water sign, a fellow water sign. You could be connected to another Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. I feel like somebody here has strong feelings for you. Somebody here could also be an Aquarius. Or, yeah, somebody here could be an Aquarius or a water sign like you. Somebody here could be a Sagittarius. This is a third-party situational. There's definitely more than one person in this situation with the Three of Cups in the reverse. Pisces, you showing up as the High Priestess. I feel like you intuitively know this. Of course you do. You are very intuitive. You just naturally intuitive. You could be gifted. You could have psychic abilities for some of you. But you tapped in and you know what's going on in this situation. So whoever resonates with this, I ain't telling you shit you don't know already. This is just your confirmation. I feel like somebody love you and you love them too. We have both the king and the queen of cups in the upright. And y'all right underneath each other. Y'all came out right underneath each other. The king of cups came out first and the queen of cups came out right underneath him. So we got both the king and the queen of cups here in the upright. I feel like whoever love you, you love them. Whoever's desiring you, you're desiring them right back. I feel like somebody here don't like this. They don't like the fact that whoever you want wants you. Whoever you love loves you back. Somebody here is very pissed off about that. Somebody here could be a Sagittarius or an Aquarius. Somebody here is furious that you're about to get a love offer from the love of your life. Somebody here is the love of your life. They're the love of your life. And damn it, you're the love of their life. And you're about to get a love offer from this person. And there could be a Virgo, an Aquarius, or a Sagittarius, or somebody with that heavily aspect in their chart that's a third party on the outside looking in that's fucking furious. They're pissed off. They're mad. They're mad because they, they wanted this person to stay away from you. They also mad because they wanted to be a third party. Like somebody here is so codependent on you or your person to the point where they was okay with being a side piece or being a third party. They want this person to juggle you and them. 
but this person is not going to juggle you in them. This is somebody that's cleaning up their act and they tapping into their divine masculine emperor energy to solely be with you. This person wants to fully commit with you. They don't want this bitch as a side piece. They don't want nobody but you. This person said they only have eyes for you. Okay, I only have eyes for you. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Um, some Frank, Frank Sinatra shit, okay? But I'm telling you, this person is very mature, whoever this is. They could like very um old school music or somebody here may like jazz or classical music. But this is um a classic, man. This person may like to dress up. This is somebody that's well-respected. This is someone that is, they in their emperor energy, they are. This is a divine masculine here. And these karmic hoes, okay, because I get that these are women that are obsessed with your masculine. They're mad because he's closing out a cycle with all of their toxic asses, with they stink ass coochies. Because somebody here got a stink coochie. I don't even know why he was dealing with her. Like, why was he hitting that at one point? He must have really been working in his lower power when he was hitting that because she smells like salmon croquettes. Okay, something about this hoe smelling like salmon croquettes. It's giving fish patties. It's giving filet fish. Okay. Yeah. She smells she smells weird. She smells fishy. Her pH balance is off. She might go need to get that checked out. She could have a sex. She could have um an infection. Okay. Ill. But he's closing out a cycle with all of these whores. And he's ready to solely commit to you. None of these bitches is worth his time. They're not worth his commitment. They're not worth a ring. They're not worth anything. And he's coming to you with a love offer. Expect communication from this man because he's coming in. He's coming in as somebody that has healed, that has transformed. And this is your karmic justice to receive this. You could have Leo in your chart. You could have Libra in your chart for some of you. You could have Leo, Libra placements for some of you or Aquarius placements or your person does. Your person could be a water sign like you or an Aries or they could have that in your chart. But this person is manifesting the hell out of you. And they coming in with an offer. And y'all going to be together. Mm -hmm. Your person could have Pisces in their chart too. They could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Aries. Or an Aquarius. Or they could have that in their chart. And you could have Libra, Aquarius, or, or um, Leo in your chart. but Or Virgo. We got Virgo here too. But I'm telling you. This person closing up a cycle with all these stink fish market bitches and he fully investing in you. I don't feel like they all stink though. It's just one of them in particular that stink. This could be the Sagittarius that stink. But I'm getting, <laughs> I don't mean to be putting everybody business out there like that, but I'm getting Sagittarius, Virgo, and Aquarius. And out of these three, and if this is not their sun sign, they got these placements in their chart. But out of these three women, one of them got a problem downstairs. Somebody in this situation got a problem downstairs. They have an odor. Like, he like, I don't want that stink shit. Like, whoever this man is, he's disgusted with these karmics. Like, at one point, this could have been fun to have these holes in rotation or some shit like that. But it's getting to the point where he's disgusted. Like, just looking at them, it turns his stomach. He has no respect for these women. And they could be beautiful women. But I'm just saying, he has absolutely no respect for them. It's like he look at these women like they beneath him and he definitely look at them like they beneath you. That's why he wouldn't even sabotage his connection and his love for you by having one of these bitches as a third party. But they cool with being third parties. They like, okay, like you still going to come for me, right? You still going to check me? You still going to fuck with me? And it's like, no, bitch, I never want to see you again in my life. Like, I don't want to see you at all ever again. Please forget I exist. Move on with your life. I want absolutely nothing to do with you. I feel like all these women heartbroken with the three of swords here. They all heartbroken. This man could even have a man that's heartbroken over him. Because there's a man here for some of y'all that wanted to be with your person as well. There's a man that's attracted to your person that wanted to be with your person as well. Mm -hmm, it is. For some of y'all, it is a man here that wants to be with your person as well and they're heartbroken so this man got men and women and they fucking feelings about him <laughs> oh shit this shit crazy all right but let's see what the advice is Pisces the advice is to prepare yourself to be in love okay I feel like you already in love they in love but just prepare yourself for this person's 
arrival or something. I don't know what your advice would be. Let's see. Because they come in and y'all in love. I feel like this is an equal give and take partnership. This is going to be very successful. And yeah. And I feel like I love the fact that they not trying to juggle you with any of those fish market hoes. This person may want to come towards you and say sorry. Okay. So they feel like they owe you an apology. Pisces, there you are showing up as the high priestess again. You very intuitive. I feel like you feel your person's energy. You know that they coming. You know that they're close. You know that they're near. That's what I feel. Y'all about to build a legacy. Y'all built about to build generational wealth. Y'all about to um, build a fucking empire together. Life is going to be extremely good for you two. Yeah, this person is closing out karmic cycles. Pisces, I feel like you're closing out karmic cycles as well, or you have already. This person is going to give to you, period. Six of Pentacles. They coming to give to you. Y'all building the Ten of Pentacles. This person is showing up as someone that's very stable, very self-sufficient, very secure. They could be an earth sign. They could have strong earth in their chart. Somebody here has an earth Venus, whether you or them or both of you. Somebody got a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn Venus placement. That could be your person or that could be you. Strong emphasis on somebody here having an earth Venus. This person got an Aquarius or somebody with strong Aquarius in their chart. That's mad as fuck because they're getting rejected by this person. This bitch is depressed. She's drinking a lot. Somebody here may have a coke or alcohol addiction is what I'm hearing. But she's depressed. She's sad. She's snorting coke. She's drinking a lot. She could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. Or she could have that in her chart. I feel like you intuitively know all of this. Like, yo, you know all of this shit. You know who the stink one is. You know who on drugs you like i just feel like you know every fucking thing whoever i'm talking to the high priestess keeps showing up like you very intuitive you could be a reader okay you could be a part of my soul tribe for some of you but you very intuitive you just be fucking knowing i just feel like you know every damn thing your person also knows that you're very gifted and intuitive which is why they're not about to come towards you and play with you yeah they know that you're the fucking empress and they want to marry you you are their wish fulfillment this man holds you in high regard they put you on a pedestal they have a lot of fucking respect for you and these women are mad because this man will never look at these women in this way and they're mad your person is coming to give to you and y'all getting married they come in i'm telling you i can't make it up knight of cups they come in for some of you you could have this person blocked unblock them what you got them blocked for this is a faded event you know you want them okay you know you love them and they love you and they come in unblock them but yeah, um, as far as this shit is concerned, this shit is funny. This shit is funny with these karmics. <laughs> oh, man. Instead of crying and fighting for a man, you need to wash your ass and get your shit together or go to the GYN and figure out what the real issue is. All right. I'm going to talk to y'all soon. I love you guys. Uh, continue to take care of yourselves. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.